When y'all come in, hit that hit that um thumbs up button, please. Thank you. I don't care who you're here for. The most important thing, as long as you're here, brother. That's all. You should be here for Sarnetta. Show support to Sarnetta, not the individual. I'm the one that bring them here. Peace and black power for that. Facts, you got a lot of humming noise going on, brother. A lot of noise. It's like, mm -hmm. I know you probably can't hear it, but it's going on. It's going down. Where's my beloved? Say cool at. Say cool. Are you in the building? The link is in the building. Say cool. The link is in the building. Hey, I put my headphones on. Can you hear me good? All right, you sound much better now. Much That's better. what I'm talking about. I'm represented today. I'm in a good mood. I'm tired as hell. You know, I didn't go to sleep last night at all. Oh, man. They kept you up all night? I just, I, you know, it's fight. It's the biggest fight card ever tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday. Yes, sir. So the fights start yes, at 7 sir. in the morning, so I'm just going to go to bed early and wake up 7 in the morning. I mean, oh, I'm in, man. I mean, I've been anticipating this fight night for months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I'm representing the West okay. Side. Okay. okay. I'm representing that West Africa in the West Coast. <laughs> hey, Sonetta, you got to let me get down today. I'm going I'm to shoot no, you a donation. No, I'm going to let you get down. I'm going to shoot you, you a donation. I hope he don't show up because I just really want to get down and, and do a little presentation. Nah, man. he's going to show up. And I want to entertain and do a presentation, man. There you just go right let, there. let me loose. <laughs> oh, man. You should go hit the donation cash app right now while we got time. Hit the, do that. Take care of that. Okay. Because um, the people want to hear that ring sound. When they hear that <laughs> ring, they're going to know that's you. Okay. <laughs> Say cool. Let's go. Get it in. What do you mean? He's here? Yeah. What he's do we, here. What he's do we, in the I, I, don't, I didn't prepare for no debate. Well, you got it in your I, mind. You got it in I, your I, mind. Right. I was just off the, off the head. So I'm not sure what he wants to talk about or wants to say or. Uh, I mean, I didn't get no prep, but it's okay. All right. Go ahead. Go hit that cash app. And um, family, we ain't going to be speaking over each other today. I'm not going to have too many people in here. I just want these two to get their build on. So it won't be no confusion. Let me turn up the ring of the cash app so we can hear it from my people. I don't even know what your cash app is. It's right there. They go one already. I know that ain't you, though, because you don't know what it is yet. But it's right there on my screen. You can see it. It's right there. The link on, is on there. On the screen I'm looking at? Yeah, it's right there. You don't see it? Do I got to go to the YouTube screen? Yeah, it's right there. Because I'm on the... Um, um, it's right okay, under I, the I, I, I see it now. I was, I'm yeah. on StreamYard, so I wasn't looking at YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, the reason why y'all out there I get a little frustrated with my little brother is because we don't need no more goddamn JJs and apostles. Don't y'all agree with that? And so when you look at um, Tori, you already see he's a little confused and you're going to end up being another goddamn JJ or apostle or, or one of these damn dudes, man. And we don't need no more of them. You know? You know what? I got you in here already. How's that happen? Yeah, I know that. You've been <laughs> here for a long time. I got you in here already. Yeah. You ain't getting a lot. 
<laughs> nah, just you a, gotta send a lot, just, man. <laughs> just a little token. Yeah, send a lot, man. Don't let me tell everybody what you sent me. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? Here's a man with his own business. He's doing big things out there. I don't hear nothing. Oh, you gotta probably do another one. Do it again. Stop it. There you yep. go. There you go. <laughs> There it is. That's what's up, man. <laughs> say cool. Let's go. We waiting on say cool. He had to jump off. I guess we we do it. So hey, the the beat is building. Is getting hey, Sinetta, That was a nice show last night. Excellent show. I had fun. I, I mean, I had like three people call me and said that was an entertaining show. <laughs> yeah, very entertaining. I mean, it's just a different subject matter, you know. Yeah. Um, something new to talk about. All right, Chief X, that's a that's a um a respectful um donation, brother. I respect that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I respect that all day. Okay, okay. Brent, let me share this video so people can run up in here. Hold on, let me share it on my social media right now. Mm-hmm. Bam. Uh oh. Uh oh, he all cleaned up and. You got his shirt on? Go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> Think of that jingle sound. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay, so let me do this right quick. When two cultures collide, which yeah. one will stand to liberate the black community? First of all, I need to acknowledge why this debate is necessary. Black News 102. Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? That curse the divine, cast the pearls to swine. Reverse the design, even merge divide. Side net a TV with two worlds collide. Might hurt to decide just who verbs will vibe. When we curve all the job, whether girls or guys. No herbs left alive in this earthly skies. Side at a TV with two worlds collide. Clash of the titans. Facts will enlighten. Some spitting mad, but they ain't half as exciting. This platform, we battle for the souls of man. Those kidnapped and trapped upon stolen land. Doesn't matter where you at on this earth. Africa's the true origin of your birth. Teaching you true health and wealth. Knowledge and self-worth instead of killing your health. Going to jail over turf. We all truth seekers. You was jamming. What happened, sir? When two cultures collide, which one will stand to liberate the black community? First of all, I need to acknowledge why this debate is necessary. Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? That curse the divine, cast the pearls to swine. Reverse the design, even merge the vibe. Side net a TV when two worlds collide. Might hurt to decide just who verbs will vibe. When we curve all the job, whether girls or guys. No herbs left alive in this earthly skies. Side at a TV when two worlds collide. Clash of the titans, facts will enlighten. Some spitting mad, but they ain't happy. This platform we battle for the souls of man. Those kidnapped and trapped upon stolen land. Doesn't matter where you at on this earth. Africa's the true origin of your birth. Teaching you true health and wealth. Knowledge and self worth instead of killing your health. Going to jail over turf. We all truth seekers asking questions. Should we seek them in the shrine lodge or the lessons? Is the answer answer through science or religion? Is it freedom or will it let you do different? Is it Indian, Aboriginal, Indigenous people? Should we worship? Money is still a root of all evil. We all born with mental shackles if we black. And the only thing that's gonna free us is the actual facts. Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? That curse the divine, cast the pearls to swine. Reverse the design, even merge the vibe. Side at a TV when two worlds collide. Might hurt to decide just who verbs will vibe. When we curve all the job, whether girls or guys. No herbs left alive in this earthly skies. 
outside at a TV when two worlds collide? Is it the gods and herbs or the moors? Should we master UCC and commercial law? Is it being Muslim, Christians, or the Jews? Should we push the old school and need something new? Is it atheism, Egyptologists, Hebrew Israelites, flat earthers, earthless? To get our people right, I'm a Ra Squad, RBG, your new covenant. Should we work for it? Should we overthrow the government? Should we all go for self being savages and vultures? Pan African or is hip hop our culture? Is it nationality or correct status? Should we integrate me to a Black Lives Matter? Should we hit the streets with the Panthers? Unify the gangs is all out war the right answer. Are we Asiatic or Arabian? Should we just free Dr. York and be Nawapian or Sabian? Whose words will survive when we purge the lies? That curse the divine, cast the pearls to swine. Reverse the design, even merge divide. Side that a TV when two worlds collide. Might hurt to decide just who verbs will vibe. When we curve all the job, whether girls or guys, no herbs left alive in this earthly skies. Side at a TV when two worlds collide. All right, you already know what it is. We're just trying to build this thing up, letting everybody get in here. Hit that like button. We got 300 people so far. Hit the like button. It should be at least 250 likes. Get that thumbs up. I want to shout out real quick, Latoya T. Thank you. Thank you, my sister, for the donation. Latoya T, thank you for the donation. Robert. Robert. Oh, man. Robert Wharton. Thank you. Thank you, my brother, for the donation. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you, Robert. Um, Grandma, what's that? Let me see. Let me click on it. Grandmaster Aaron. Thank you, brother. Grandmaster Aaron showing the love and support. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Carell, Carell, Carell Bar, Bar, Bar. Shout out to you, my brother. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming through. All right. Thomas Linney. Thank you for coming through, brother. Thomas Linney. Tim, Tim Roddy. Tim Roddy. John Doe. John Doe in the building. Thank you. J A F. Salute. All right. Barney. Bonnie Johnson, shout out to you, Bonnie Johnson. Salute to you. Sterling D, Sterling D, Sean A, shout out to Sean A. Diallo, Diallo Hampton, Hamilton, Richard L, Richard L, Stacy. All right, Cornell Can, Cornell Can, shout out to you. Big Joe, Big John, Big John, JD Smooth. Yes, shout out to JD Smooth in the building. All right. Um, KD Michelle, KD Michelle, shout out to KD Michelle. All right, Marlo, Marlo. Oh, shout out to Nepal Shada, Max Bird, Max Bird, shout out to Max Bird, Paul Graham, shout out to Paul Graham. Okay, so with that, let's 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 talk about it, man. There's some so, things going on. Let's have these people share this video in their social medias. Yes, the, exactly. Can y'all please share this video in your social medias? Thank you, brother uh, Chief X. I'm gonna give you brothers. Um, I'm gonna give you brothers like ten minutes a piece to speak. Is that good or too long? Just like an introduction, you mean? Or no, no, no. Um, I'm gonna oh, talking about. You one minute for introduction. One minute, but ten minutes to get drive home your presentation. Is that too long? Not long enough. No, because we're gonna have a couple of rounds, so it's gonna be all right. So um, here's the thing, Chief X, you are the challenger. You are challenging the people. You're gonna have to go first because you're calling out everybody, brother. Chief X versus everybody. <laughs> right there it is. So without any further ado, I want everybody to go on mute and we're going to allow Chief X to have the floor. You got one minute in this round to lay out. Listen to me, Chief. You got one minute in this round to lay it out. What is your challenge? What are you challenging people so that they can hear it and they ain't got to keep going over what you're saying? So I want everybody to listen to Chief X challenge. So we know he ain't talking about skin color. We know he ain't just doing that. So Chief X, you are on the clock. It is 522. You got the floor. 
challenge, but I came here today also. I'm representing the West Coast. I'm representing the West Coast of Africa. I'm representing the tribes in West and Central Africa. Okay, this is West Side for Life, and we a Sante gang. So we bang on the East. We bang, we bang on Egyptomaniacs, and we shut it down. You understand? That's what it is. We intellectually gang banging. So here we go. My, my, my question and claim that I've been saying for a year now, mind you, I've made three videos about it. I've posted on you on Facebook. And it, there are no indigenous, negroid, congoid, black people, us, to any of these lands, the N North Africa, Europe, Levant, the Near East, and the Caucasus. So what I mean by indigenous to those lands, when a people migrate somewhere, like the Native Americans, they migrate to the Western Hemisphere, to a barren and empty land. Then they set up camp, and their culture is born there. So Native Americans is indigenous to the Western Hemisphere or to the Americas, okay? So them lands, black folk has never, ever, ever, ever in history been indigenous to them lands. And North Africa has never, ever, 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 ever been black Africa. People didn't know that. It's never been black Africa. It's always been a, 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 another type of people in North Africa. <clears throat> All right, so you done. Um, you know, that's just my, my, my okay, claim, and I, I'm challenging uh, everybody on that. All right, brother Sekou, you have a minute, brother. But I forgot to say something. They, they have to name a tribe or nation that is indigenous to those lands. Now they saying it, your mic is too loud. Pull your mic away a little bit from your mouth. Yeah, is it too loud to you? Is it, is it too loud not, to you? It, no, I got my system on, so it's good for okay. me, but it's probably okay. for the people. Okay. So okay. yeah, so 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 you have to name a tribe or nation from any of those areas I said. All right, uh, brother Say cool. Do you have any questions so you can be clear before you get in your minute? Your mic muted. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Do you have any question before I give you your minute? Okay. Chief X, I want you to define indigenous. What do you mean when you say indigenous? Okay. You, did, you didn't hear my introduction? Just answer the question. Okay. So indigenous to me is when a people migrate somewhere, filter somewhere, and inhabit a barren and em or empty land, they set up camp, and their culture is born there. Those people are from that land. They're indigenous to that land. That's Chief X's definition of indigenous. Okay. If we find any group or tribe, a, com a tribe, or like you say, I'll use the word tribe, in North Africa, in the country you consider North Africa, if we find any tribe there that are black, like any group of black people in sub-Saharan Africa, will you concede? Now, not to that because you stated the premise wrong. You said if we find any tribe in the North Africa. Yeah, indigenous. I'm not saying that. If you find any indigenous tribe. Okay, if you if you can name an in, if the people that was indigenous to those yeah. lands. Now, I will grant this because there are is a group of people called the Garamanches. Uh-uh, look. You wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Stop, stop, the debate is not on. No, 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 cool. no. Say cool, I just want to get clarity so everybody oh. know what it is. So when yeah, we do this, Chief X, you said that you can't find no indigenous you, 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 you can't. I, I, I'm just you are to... asking them to find an indigenous tribe, brother. Right. Yeah. So what I'm just doing is giving clarity before we get all into it. I'm just okay. trying to be clear and open to everyone and clarify. Because okay. people have brought this out, but it doesn't work. So I just want to make sure this may be something he may be trying to bring out. But there's a, a people called the Garamanches in North Africa. But they are a Berber people, and they are mixed 
but like mainly two thirds Berber, and I think they have maybe one third some Sub Saharan in them. They came to that land at a certain later time. One more <laughs> last, one last question. All right, go ahead. and I'm gonna let Chief X do the same to you before we yeah. start. Go ahead. Chief X, who do you? What is your definition of a Black African, and what is the phenotype of a Black African? Okay. So let me clarify this because people were saying this yesterday. Now, I understand black is a social construct. Fine. I still like to use the word black, okay? Uh, 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 Africa is a continent, okay? So, if I go to Kenya, I'm not going to call them black. They're not going to call each other black. Everybody's black there. So, they'll just use I'm Kenyan as their nationality or what they claim to be, okay? They don't even really say I'm African when you're there. They just say I'm Kenyan, okay? So since Africans a, excuse me, Africa is a continent, my definition of a black African would be more so a sub-Saharan Africa, African, with, with kinky hair and certain features like that, okay? I wouldn't consider a North African a black African, okay? So just, I'm not saying white people, but just to juxtapose, I say white Africa, North Africa, and black Africa, sub-Saharan Africa. Okay. okay. So, so in Ghana, Ghana, in Ghana and Nigeria, people like to think we have different hair types. Nope. We have one hair type. It 100% of the people in Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Sub-Saharan Africa are nappy. We don't have no straight hair people. All right. The only stop, straight hair stop, people. Stop. Stop. That's it. Okay. So say cool. You got a minute to explain to the people to drive your point, paint the picture, let them know what you are here to prove today. You got one minute. It is okay. 550, I mean 529. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to, to prove to you that there are indigenous people, black Africans in North Africa today, as we speak, they are recognized as indigenous by those countries. And they are, his, they are there right now. They are even serving in government and they have organizations and they are indigenous to the North African country. And they are even black and blacker than Thousand Midnight, even more than Chief X. And we will find out right now. That's, I want to prove tonight that these words, semantics that this man is playing with, he can't even define who the black African is using words like king, king, head. When I go to Somalia, I have an African there who is black. If I go to Eritrea, if I go to South Africa, even in Liberia, I don't find all the, all the tribes that do not have the same hair type. The Fulani in Liberia are citizens of Liberia. They've been there and they do not like, they do not look like the, 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 the Gola or the, the, the Bandi or the Madinga. They, the same thing with different, different ethnic groups. So Chief S cannot come here and define in his own using the definition of petri of what a, a black African is. But we all know black, what is black we know, and hair type can vary among African people. But we will see it, even in West Africa, you find people there with different hair types. So Chief Air can only say tonight that the fact is presented to him and he's going to deny it, that's the only thing. But to show you black people, indigenous in North Africa, easy, easy. All right, so we're gonna start the first round. Um, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Can you turn your mic down a little bit, Chief? For me? Yeah. Okay, let me try, let me try to turn it down. Yeah, you got to turn that joint down, brother. Okay, it's turning down to fifty percent now. How? Go ahead, say something. It's at fifty percent, and I'm ready how to get down. How it sound to y'all now? The people out there, is, is y'all good with it? You know what? Let me just move this all out the way. Okay, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm if I'm too loud or I mean, um, or not. Now loud it's too loud. All right, they saying it's better. They saying it's better. What did you What did you say? Okay. They saying it's good now. It's real I good. I think he's low now. <laughs> Before we get started. All right, now now um say cool. Do you have? I mean um, uh, Chief X, do you have any questions for um say cool? Yes. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Actually, it's just a. It's just a. A, um, a respect statement I want to make. Go ahead. Okay. Now, Seku, we're an adult. We're adult men's. We can have an adult conversation. 
I'm not nervous. I don't need to shade you to make me look better. I don't need to do that. I'm going to share what I'm sharing. You're going to share what you're sharing. If you ask me what my definition of black and African is, and then you go, say, she thinks don't know the definition of a black. We're not, we're not being genuine. Okay. It's, if people have a personal definition. It's not a set scientific definition of a black African. So the de- so if I give my opinion on what was is, and you give your opinion of what it is, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, you don't know. Let's just be, you know, proper and have an adult conversation here. I know what a black African is, just like you do. All right. All right, Chief X, it's on you. The time is now. Five thirty. Two. You got I got 10, 10 minutes. minutes? Okay. Yes. So let me share my screen. I mean, it's five. Yeah, it's 532. Go ahead. 33, I mean. The time ain't going to start until you start, so don't worry about that. If for any reason y'all need me to stop the time, you got to say hold the time until y'all get to what y'all want to get. All right. Y'all clear on that? Okay, I'm ready, Sonetta. Okay, the time is 5.33. I say 5.34, so go ahead, brother. Okay. My claim is there are no... Egypt, officially, let me just read this and blow it up a little bit so everybody can see. Egypt, officially, the Arab Republic of Egypt, is a transcontinental country. Transcontinental means it's connected to another continent. And people can walk and, 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 and travel close. Things are like nine miles apart. So it's a transcontinental country spanning the northeast corner of Africa and the southwest corner of Asia via a land bridge from the Sinai Peninsula. It is the world's only contiguous Euphrasian nation. Basically, it's saying it's partly Euro- European stock, partly African stock, and partly Asian stock. It is the world's only place like that. So meaning, people come in and out of North Africa for 30 years. Sub-Saharan Africans weren't coming in and out of Africa for 30,000 years. We were below the Sahara. Okay? Now, North Africa, excuse me, uh, uh, is this what I wanted to show? No, 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 no. Okay, so North Africa. North Africa is Northern Africa, the region encompassing the northern portion of the African continent. Okay? Um, where did I want to go? Varying in sources limited to the countries of Algeria, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. Nowhere do they mention Sudan there. It says the United, that's the Algeria. The United Nations include Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, and Sudan. Okay, so two different unions include Sudan. Some don't include Sudan. So personally, I don't include Sudan, but I do consider Nubians and Sudan black people, but I don't consider them in North Africa. Okay, Um, let me move on to this. The genetic, this is. The genetic history of North Africa, okay? And when we go down here, let me blow this up so people can see. I don't want to just run my mouth and people can't see. Okay, I hope people can see this. Uh Uh-oh, I lost it, I lost it, I lost it. Okay, here we go. The ancient DNA of North Africans, it says, unlike sub-Saharan Africans, North Africans have a similar level of Neanderthal DNA to South Europeans and West Asians because it's a transcontinental country. These people, some Europeans, Southern Europeans, West Asians, when they left out of Africa, because sub-Saharan African, black people like me, never migrated out of Africa. We've always been in sub-Saharan Africa and never left. People in North Africa migrated out. 
So it says, unlike sub-Saharan Africans, when people migrated out of Africa, they ran into what they call archaic humans, like Neanderthals. And they admixed. So when they admixed, I'm trying to knock down these pop-ups. So when they admix, it says, unlike sub-Saharan Africans, North Africans have similar level of Neanderthal DNA to South Europeans and West Asians, which is pre-Neolithic in origin. They've been there a long time, pre-Neolithic. Rather than via any later admixture with people from outside of North Africa during the historical period. So like Ngozi was saying yesterday, people have been back migrating and coming in and out through that transcontinental area. Sub-Saharan Africans have not been, okay? It says North Africans derive mainly from a back to Africa population from where? Eurasia from before 2,000 years ago. They have always been there. I didn't lost my spot again. Okay, here we go. North Africans derive mainly from a back to Africa migration. So this is telling you, and I'm showing you, that North Africans been in and out. Sub-Saharan Africans haven't. Okay? And they're telling you what countries in the transcontinental country. Okay? Uh, prior to Neolithic migrations, but more recent than 40,000 years, y'all. Dr. Soy Kita said these people have been there 60,000 years. I only say 30, but 60,000 years, fine. Okay, now let's move on to a list of Mediterranean countries. Because I keep telling people Egypt is a what? A Mediterranean country. Egypt is listed as a Mediterranean country. We, African Americans and Sub-Saharan Africans, are not Mediterranean people at all. Egyptians are Mediterranean people. Now, so you can understand what I'm saying. Let me go here. <laughs> ancient Egypt, this says, let me blow it up. I hope you can see it. It says ancient Egypt. We're talking about ancient Egypt here. Was the preeminent civilization in the Mediterranean world. Meaning they were the baddest people in the Mediterranean world. Black folk weren't in the Mediterranean world. We're not Mediterranean people. Check this out. What does preeminent mean? Preeminent. Surpassing all others. Very distinguished in some way. Meaning they was running shit in the Mediterranean world. And that's where the, the bulk of their business and trade happened was in the Mediterranean world. Sub-Saharan Africans weren't in the Mediterranean world. They weren't in North Africa to do business with the Mediterranean world. All North African countries are Mediterranean countries. We are not Mediterranean people. We are black Americans who descend from West and Central Africa we have nothing to do with the Mediterranean world and never have ever in the history of mankind. Okay? We weren't even a seafaring people. The Mediterranean world was a seafaring people. And they did trade and business with each other. And that's how the knowledge came about because everyone is able to exchange ideas all throughout the Mediterranean world. Meaning that's how the Greeks and Romans came into Egypt. It's all the same region and the same similar looking people. Just like I may look similar to a Central African because that's my region and we look similar. So in the region of the Mediterranean, those people look similar and share similar genetics. Okay? There's never been no kinky-haired, nappy, congoid, africoid people running through the Mediterranean world. Because we're not Mediterranean people, and we're not North Africans, and there's no indigenous black people ever in North Africa. We were never a Mediterranean people. This is just facts. How much time I got, Senator? Let's see. 
Can you hear me? Well, let me just go ahead on a roll right here then. This is a video I made with a Mediterranean man from Tunisia, North Africa, and he sells what? Mediterranean food. Let's listen to him real quick. Wait a minute. I don't need for, uh, let me let me make sure that I am sharing my sound. Hold on, hold on. What's up, Seiko? I mean, um, how much time you got? I was asking. Oh, oh, you got two minutes. Okay, two minutes. I'm here, sir. Later. I see you. Yeah. Okay, so I ran into this Mediterranean world. I'm just made this video talking to him. Here we go. Oops. So there is my screen not shared. Now, now it's shared. shared. Go ahead, start, start it over. over. I let, let you start, start it over. over. <laughs> okay, because okay, I'm looking, I didn't even see it. You're the, the one stop sharing. sharing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, oh yeah, you had to hit it. Okay, here we go. Let's just play this again. It's only 40 seconds. All right, all right go, ahead. go ahead. This is a Mediterranean man. All North Africans are Mediterranean. We're not Mediterranean people. Sub-Saharan Africans are Mediterranean people. Let me see if I can turn it up. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. good. Tunisian, Mediterranean people. All North Africans are Mediterranean people. Okay, here we so go. So I'm at this. He's selling Mediterranean food. He's from Tunisia. And on his sausage he's selling, it says Mediterranean traditional food. And he's from Tunisia. I am from Tunisia. Do you consider yourself Mediterranean? I am Mediterranean. Half of the country is on the Mediterranean. Beautiful Tunisia is the pearl of the Mediterranean. We I keep telling y'all. All the food is good. Look, Mediterranean uh -huh. food. They're North Africans are Mediterranean people. Yeah, we got the tuna too. Uh -huh. when it comes to the, the Mediterranean. Who? Tuna? Uh -huh. Preserved tuna. Oh, okay, nice, 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 yeah. nice. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Okay, I stopped sharing. Okay, so with that, man. Go on mute, go on mute, don't come off mute till it's your time. Brother, say cool. It is now on you. The oh, time boy. will start when you start. Okay, let me share my screen very quickly. Okay, you got 10 minutes. Mm. Your time will start when you start kicking it. Okay. Kicking the Willie Bobo. Let's go. Okay. All right. I will start. Yeah, can you see my screen, sir? The screen is up and running. Okay, I will begin. All right, time so, starts. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm beginning with this map because Chief X put up this map yesterday and he said he wants to make a difference between North Africa and sub saharan Africa. And he put up this map to show that up here where you have the gray or white color is North Africa and down below is all Sub-Sahara Africa. So we said, what about Sudan? He said, Sudan is in this green area. There is a problem because some organizations do not consider Sudan to be North Africa, especially the African Union, but the United Nations consider uh, Sudan to be North Africa. But let's look at this very closely. You see, the map he showed here is not the geographical map. This map has to do with uh, the political map. Here's what it says here. It says Sub-Saharan Africa. Geographically, 
the area of the continent of Africa that lies south of the Sahara, geopolitically, in addition to the African country and territories that are situated fully in the specific region. The term may also include polities that only have part of their territory located in that region. Per the definition of the United Nations, why the UN geo scheme of Africa exclude Northern Sudan from the definition of Sub-Saharan Africa, the African Union regional definition include it while instead exclude Mauritania. Now we have a problem here. Let's look at the, geo the actual geographical map. This is not a political one. This is the geographical map itself. Sudan is up here in North Africa. It's only South Sudan below here that is in Sub-Saharan Africa. The whole of Sudan is in North Africa all in, according to geography. Geography has nothing to do with African Union. It has nothing to do with what United Nations say. It has nothing to do with Chief X believes or what he doesn't believe. Geography is geography. This North uh, Sudan is in North Africa. But let's take Chief F argument for a second and say, okay, North Africa is, uh, Sudan does not include North Africa because African Union says so. But the same African Union include Mauritania. So if Mauritania is included, then you must understand what it says here. It said it excludes I mean, Mauritania is included in North Africa. So if African Union includes uh, Mauritania in North Africa, Chief Air, you still lost because Mauritania is black. So if Mauritania is in North Africa, it's still black people. So if you, in any way, you still lose. If you go for our, uh, African Union definition, you still have Mauritania in North Africa. If you go by United Nations definition, you still have Sudan in North Africa. In either way, you lost on the context of geography. Now let's leave geography and go into the facts. Are there indigenous people in North Africa? I will stop sharing this screen and share another one, sir. Um, okay, stop sharing. Now, tonight I would like to talk about the Beja people. Sanera, are you there? Yes, I'm here. To, yeah, I want to share another screen. I want to share the screen. All right, I stopped your, your time. You okay. at um six minutes and 36 seconds. Um, Whenever you're ready to share it, I'll share it. I don't see it. Oh, okay. I Wait. see it now. You see it? All right. All right, now time is on. I'm out of Wikipedia. I'm leaving Wikipedia for you, Chief. Uh, you can re You can take some cool drinks and remain in Wikipedia. I'm taking you to scholarship now. This is pre-colonial Beja, a periphery of the crossroad. This is coming from Stockholm University. And you can see it right there, up there, the sources are there, a 2006 article. This is talking about the Beja people. A Beja people are indigenous to Egypt. Here I'm going to read the abstract of the article. The Beja, of Badawi people speaking the northern Kushiti language called Badawi have literally since time immemorial occupied the eastern desert of Sudan, listen, Egypt, and possibly Eritrea. They today consist of a subgroup of Abra. It gave you all the different, different uh, sub ethnic groups there. Now, let me go to the introduction. It says here that. The Beja or the Bedawi people speak in the northern Cushitic language. Even the language they speak is African, okay? A northern Cushitic language have literally since time immemorial occupied the eastern desert of Sudan and Egypt since time immemorial. So if you occupy a place since time immemorial, that means you were there since prehistoric time. I will read this. I don't want to read this entire article, but I will give you just some few words so that you can go and read them. So I know that I don't want to scroll down. I don't know how to do it. Uh, how do I scroll down? All right. I pause your time. Um, how do you scroll down what? The page that you're on? Yeah, the page. I want to read. Okay. Okay. Damn. Oh, oh I could do it myself. I'm doing yeah. it for you. 
Okay. Go. Okay. So time resume. Would you want to go to page two? No, just go up a little bit. Yeah, I think page two. Let me see what's there. That's page two. Okay. Uh, go go again. I think go down. I don't know. I'm looking for the land of the. Okay. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that's here. All right. Time resume. Eight you got four, 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 forty-eight. Go ahead. Okay. Beja land in antiquity. The Beja land span the region between the Nile Valley. This is their land, the Nile Valley and the Red Sea Shore, both at areas that have brought more interest to them than the Beja area itself being located in the outskirts because they always live in the outskirts of the town. They were nomadic people. They have considered the condition first to the west and then to the east later. Now, I'm going to second paragraph. Very roughly around 1000 BC, a group of people referred to in archaeology texts as the Sea Group migrated from Lower Nubia and between present day Aswan and settled in Upper Nubia, Nile Valley of the Dongola, where they developed a kingdom of Napata. Okay, this is talking about the Sudanese and how they, because these are not Nubians, okay? You always talk about the Nubian. I'm not dealing with the Nubian. I'm dealing with the Beja people. So this article is coming out directly from the University of Stockholm. Now, I will take you back to Wikipedia that you believe in. Let's Wikipedia show you the photos, the pictures, and the settlement of these people. Because these Beja people, if you read this entire article, when the Arabs arrived, they were the one, they were even attacking Arab settlements. If you read down, the early Arab traveler, like Ibn Awqa, wrote about them being there in Egypt, Aswan. They were the one even fighting against the Arabs. They built alliances with different groups of people. And the Beja are still there today. If you type in Google the ethnic groups of Egypt, the Beja will show up. Now, let me show you who a, how a Beja looks like. I'll stop sharing. Shannon, I want to stop sharing this. Okay, so just say quit sharing. Uh, you know, I got you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. You're at 247 and ticking. Oh, my God. All you gotta do is tell me when to stop it when you're ready. Yeah, please stop it. I'm looking. I, I want to go back to Wikipedia. That. You know, I'm having problem navigating this. This is the issue. Yeah, you're gonna I'm get on, better. You're gonna let get me better. Exit full screen because I don't know why I went to full screen. Okay. All right. Share my screen. Um, window. Chrome. Okay. And, and Chief X, I want you to know you can do the same thing. If you need me to stop your time okay. while you're getting something, I'm just a, let I, me know. I'll share my screen. Okay. Time resume. You're at 238. Okay. So the Beja, they are in Sudan and they are in Egypt. They have been warrior. Look at them. Because I tried to get a good photo, but I struggle. If you go, Sanela, do you see the photos I'm sharing? Yes, I see it. Okay. These are Beja warrior. They are Black than thousand midnight. Look here, nineteenth century. These are this this you can see here. They are in Sudan. You have the they they are in Sudan. They are in Egypt. They are in Eritrea. These people are indigenous to the land. I want to read quickly what the Wikipedia says about them because you believe in Wikipedia more than uh, 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 what I'm going to tell you. So let me write Beja, Beja tribe. What Wikipedia tells you. So, the Beja people, I'm reading now from Wikipedia that you believe in, is what it's going to tell you. The Beja people are a nomadic tribal confederation inhabiting an area from southern Egypt. Are you getting it? From southern Egypt through Sudan into Eritrea. The Beja are descendants from people who have inhabited the area since 4000 BC or earlier. They have been there before even the Egyptian kingdom was found. Because when Nama united the two land, it was about 3,000 or 100 BC or so. The Beja, 4,000 BC or earlier, they have been there. And you have to see the phenotype of the Beja people. Because these are Africans, and there is no doubt about that. Beja warriors. And I have a lot of them. I'm going to all some all the North African countries. I will give you all the lists so that you you won't be, be able to debate. 
This is a Beja warrior. You're looking at him. He's dark than a thousand midnight. This is a Beja warrior. You see him? This photo, this photo was taken in 1890 in Sudan. There are many photos of them even on the street of Cairo in Egypt. I set them up, but when I was trying to prepare this, everything, you see their hair standing by the horses, the Afro hair, the nose you're looking for, the skin color you're looking for. Look at it. These are Beja warriors, and they are Egyptians. Today, I didn't say uh, prehistoric time. I didn't say many centuries ago. I said right now. You go... All right, say cool, go on mute. We're going to go to the second round of, of Brother Chief X. Chief X, okay. um, remember, if, you, if for some reason you need me to stop or hold your time, you let me know. All right, it's on you. The time will start when you start, brother. Okay, let me present. And um, round two. Kill this noise. Uh, let me get my screen up, Sonetta. Can you hear me good? Okay. Yes, I hear you. I'm waiting on your screen. I see your screen. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Time will start. Okay. Let's uh, start now. All right. Time starts. I want. I'm. I'm gonna go into my. I like to go into my 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 um um what I'm trying to present. But I just want to knock down the only two things he said. He spoke on Mauritania. And yesterday he said the Soniki people are from North Africa. Because they live in Mauritania. But he's not being clear and honest. They live in southern Mauritania, right? And guess what? Here are the Soniki people. You see what it says? The Soniki people are what? West African. You see that, son editor? Why would this man come up here and lie when scholarship and academia tells you that the Soniki people in southern Mauritania are West African? You need to bend the knee and repent and apologize for lying yesterday or today and being dead wrong. Let's kill that Southern Mauritania shit. Um, excuse my language. The Soniki people are West African. You're dead wrong. Moving on from that, the other points you made. Let me go to this other screen. You're talking about the Beja people. This is not us. Just because someone is melanated... Plenty of people are melanated. They have dark, dark Arabs. They have dark Cambodians. This is not us. This is a loose, curly person. They are from where? The Horn of Africa. Beja people are considered from the Horn of Africa. No one considers them North Africans. No one calls Beja's North Africans. I don't know why you get up here and lie and reach for something. And can't grab it. You reach so hard, your arm broke. Okay? This is Beja people. And guess what language they speak? From the Afro-Asiatic language family. They don't know Sub-Saharan Africans speak no Afro-Asiatic language family. You see it right there. The Afro-Asiatic language family. Why would you come up in here bullshitting people like that? Beijians are from the Horn of Africa. Let's go back up. And guess what are Beijians are considered since they're not us? Beijian people are like our Caucasians, just like Arabs, Berbers, Ethiopians, and people in the Horn of Africa because they have a lot of Arab blood. Let's go see. Here go some Beijians. They don't look nothing like us. He looks damn near Arab. He looks like a dark Arab. Right? Let's be honest, okay? Beja people, let me show you, and then I'm going to get to my stuff. 
um, a confederation. Uh, uh, yeah, what, okay, what he means is you have people living on the borders of Egypt. So since people are close to the border and have migrated there over time in modern times, you, got, you have some Nubians living in the border, they're claiming these people to be Egyptians or North Africans. No, they're not indigenous. They're an ethnic group on a border of Sudan and Egypt. An ethnic group is not an Egyptian. Egyptians are e indigenous to Egypt, not Beijers. They're an ethnic group close to Egypt. Now, today's time, I'm sure you might have some Beijing in Egypt, but you're dead wrong with this because what? It tells you they mixed with Arabs who settled in the region. They've been fucking with each other, with Arabs and the Horn of Africa right here for 4,000 years. Who settled in Africa? They speak Arab. They speak Afro-Asiatic. They are not us. It is also a Semitic language they speak of Tigri. Semitic, Canaan. It, I mean, you know, this is not our people, bro. Don't th this is tricks y'all be doing. You guys trying to make Nubians and make Beijers and Horn of African people. You're trying to make them. They're not Mediterranean people either. Okay, you're just wrong about this, bro. So those are Beijer people. You're wrong about Beijer people. You're wrong about the Sonique people. Now let me get to my stuff. How much time I got, son, Edder? I'm about to shut it all down right now. You got 505 to go. That's all I need. Let's go. Here is Queen Hepsutput. If <laughs> I have you say her name, Queen Hepsutput. You see her hair. She has Caucasian hair. She has no Afro hair. She has Caucasian hair because Berbers, Coptics, Arabs, People in the Horn of Africa, you're just, they are are, 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 are are Caucasians. So beige is a Caucasians. She's a Caucasian in physical anthropology. I know it's an obsolete term, but I like to use it still, and some people still do use it, okay? Look at her hair. She's not an African. The Egyptian woman, Hapshit suit, has Caucasian hair. Let's move on. Oh, here we go with King Queen T. Let's talk about it. There you go, Queen T. What you're looking at here is a wooden statue, excuse me, a wooden bus. So it's the color of wood. What's on her head is not an Afro Einstein's. That is a headdress. It's not an Afro. You see the two holes? Let me click on it. Let me blow this up. Oops. You see the two holes right here? That's because a Uraeus snake used to be there. And you can pull this whole wig off. And when you pull it off, guess what you see? Let's go. You see this straight Caucasian hair. That's Queen T. She's never had an afro. What y'all been looking at is a headdress because you've been tricked by fake Af Afrocentrics still in other people's history. This is Queen T with this straight hair. This is her mommy. This is primary evidence. I'm not showing you a bust. I'm showing you literally Queen T right here. Primary evidence. Look at the hair. Read them and weep. Sit the hair down trying to mess with me. You just stepped into the wrong league. And here is some of her family members. Thuya and Yuya. Let's talk about it. You want to get all flip mouth and stuff. Let me put you in your place, bro. Thuya and Yuya. Yuya is a family member. Look at his hair. Caucasian hair. Uh-oh. Sonata, you're supposed to be playing the, 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 the uh-oh. Look at him. Look at him. What? Is that nappy head? No. North Africans have never been black. Egyptians have never been black. Egyptians have always, 100% of the time, been Caucasian. Now, uh, 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 wait a minute. Did I show you ya? Let's go to you ya. How much time I got, sir? You have one minute. Want me to stop it? One, two minutes. Yeah, let me stop it real quick. Let me just, let me, I got to find this. You one. got two minutes, bro. 
And um, I don't want y'all asking me no questions. I don't want to sway the audience. Just do y'all thing. Don't ask me nothing. That's why I'm not playing no sound effects, none of that. You said I got I two minutes? Play the, yes, you got two minutes. Okay, let's do this. What this say? List of DNA tested mummies. Are you ready? Continue. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Niggas lie. Math don't lie. DNA don't lie. It is the final thing in court. DNA come in, get him out of jail. Not guilty. Listen here. Let's look at the DNA. Of who? Queen T. There she go. Can y'all see? Queen T. What is her DNA? Let's slide this over. K. K. What is K? West Asia. So Queen T is from where? West Asia. Okay. How about King Tut? Let's go to King Tut. You seen King Tut right here? Okay, let's slide over. What is he? DNA says what? K. Once again, what is that? West Asia. Queen T, King Tut, Thuya Yuya, Hepshutsu, all these people's biological origins are West Asia. Why? Because Egypt is a transcontinental nation. It connects to West Asia. It connects to the, the Sinai Peninsula, uh, 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 Egypt the Mediterranean, and they've been flowing in and out North Africa to West Asia, the Levant, same people, Bethlehem, Canaan, all that is right next to Egypt. They are the same region, they look alike, and when Jabari debates uh, 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 um, um, Garfield, he's going to tear his ass up because they've been sharing information and influencing each other for thousands of thousands of years. Bethlehem, Canaan, and Egypt is next door neighbors. You can backstroke there. You can jog there and get some exercise, okay? They all the same people. I always I always give you our 10 seconds grace period so I don't just cut you out on the dime. Um, brother, say cool, this is your second round. It's on you. Time will okay. start when you start, brother. So before I share my screen, I just want to point out how he was not sincere and honest to you. Okay, this is on your time, though. This is yeah, your time. Yeah, it's on my time. Go All ahead. right, Do you, are you ready? Yes. All right, your cool. time starts. All right. The first problem he has is that he does not even understand chronology. He doesn't respect geography. He doesn't respect scholarly journals. Because what I speak, I didn't come up and start yelling and write and reading from Wikipedia. I gave him a scholarly journal from a university that said Beja have been on the land for 4,000 BC and they are indigenous to the land. They have been there from time immemorial. He did not debunk that. He did not, he said they are at the border. Does that matter? If you live at the border of the United States, you are not in America just because you live at the border. So all those living at the border of Mexico in America, you are not Americans, says Chief X. Chief X, you are being disingenuous. You don't understand what you are talking about. They are indigenous to Egypt. You did not disprove that. Aswan is in Egypt, and that's where they belong. Now, when it comes to the issue, he said, we were not going in and out because of the Sahara. Black people were not coming in and out of North Africa. Come on, wait a minute. You said Sudan is not North Africa sharing border with Egypt. But now you said black people couldn't go to Egypt because of the desert. What about Sudan that shares border with Egypt? So the Sudanese could not go to Egypt and come back? The desert was stopping them? Even when they ruled Egypt at the 25th dynasty, the, the desert couldn't stop them? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. Now he showed you a picture of a man, a, a, a drawing, and he said, that's a Beja man because it's from Wikipedia. Now, let me go back to the same Wikipedia because you should show the people a lot of photos. Show them a lot of photos because the Beja are still alive. So I'm sharing my screen. Oh, oh, my battery low. Let me plug this quickly. Sanana, please pause my time, please. Let me put on this on. It's 8.07, I stopped your time. Heavyweight. I'm the heavyweight champ up in here, bro. All right, brother, you got to go on mute. You got to go on mute. 
So let me show you the beja of today uh, from history and right now so that you see that live. So I'm sharing my screen, share, all right. Okay. Uh, all right. Share it, sir. I'm sharing this. This is a beja, man. You see the screen? All right. Time starts. Okay. You see the screen? Yes, Here we is see a beja, it. man. It's written of the beja tribe, man. This one, this particular one, he's in Sudan. And this is photo. You see his Afro hair. It's the same ethnic group. Let's come here. There's thousands of photos. You don't just pick a picture like you pick Obama and put him up and say, there is no black Americans. Because here is one, uh, there is Obama with red skin color. Therefore, there is no black American. You are looking at pictures of Beja. Here is a boy. With his with his warrior knife, here's one here smoking. These are all Beja people. You see this? You this one will work in America, and they will call him Caucasian. Are you out of your mind, Chief X? <laughs> this brother will walk into America tonight, and when Martin Luther King was marching in Alabama, they will allow this guy to eat with white people as a Caucasian. Are you playing on our intelligence? <coughs> huh? Okay, let's look at them. There are a lot of them. Let's look at the entire tribe. Don't just pick a group and I mean, one picture, of even a painting, and say, oh, here goes. This brother smoking here. This other brother standing here. If they enter into America today, they will be classified as Caucasians? Is that what you are telling me? These men here, these are all Beja people today. Today, as I speak to you, these pictures have are not even from any, these are, look at them. With this man standing here, with all these black people around him, melanated, black as a thousand midnight. If these people enter into America today, they are Caucasians. That's what you are telling me. I think you should tell that to the white supremacy, like behold your Caucasian brothers, so they cannot welcome them. You don't know what you're talking about. You're using the 19th century definition of Caucasian from fools who don't know what we're talking about, the Hamai theory that has not even been discarded. Now I will go to another tribe in North Africa because I've, I've shown you that these people are black people, they are not Caucasians. Now let me give you another one. I'm sharing my screen again. I'll stop sharing this one. I'm going to give you an, another indigenous tribe in Libya. Wait for it. So you can, I will give you a lot of assignment tonight. Very quickly, uh, the Tubu people. You never heard of it, maybe. You are hearing it for the first time. The Tubu, the Tubu people, a uh, pronoun sometimes Tebu, are a Sahara ethnic group inhabiting northern Chad. Listen, southern Libya, northeastern Niger, and northwestern Sudan. Another ethnic group. And I'm going to show you how they look like again. Maybe you call them Caucasian. These Tubu people, they come from southern Libya. I was in Libya, and they have a town, they have their cities. If you go to Saba, anybody Google Saba, S-A-B-H-A, is a city populated with black people. I worked there for six months with black Libyans, and these are Africans speaking a language not related to Arabic whatsoever. They speak Kanuri, and they are called the Tubu people, and they are indigenous. They are among the indigenous people. The UN, United Nations Commission for Refugee, identified them as the indigenous people of Libya. I will read a news article from Al Jazeera recently about a sister from that ethnic group who was appointed as minister, and there was discrimination against her. And instead of even sharing the article, I'm, uh, I'm going to play a video. And this video comes from Black American News Channel interviewing Black Libya indigenous. So, Sarnetta, is it allowed to play another YouTube video? Yes, if as long as um, I don't know. It's if very it's... short. Yes, go ahead. Let's get it. Can you see my screen? Um, not this one, right? Uh, with a man sitting down in coat suit. You see no, that? I don't see no screen yet. Oh, 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 oh! Please stop my time. I need to get this done. All right, I you had 356. Student. Yeah, oh, man. Okay, I'll go back, then I'll share. Chief S, wait for this video, you're gonna get shocked. 
Uh, all right. Remember, y'all, right after this at 8 o'clock, we got, we got Chris Harris. Okay, we'll you see it now? To destroy. Yes, we'll be okay. coming in. Let's to watch go the video. The Abrahamic faith. Let's go. Let's watch the video. On December 24th, near contentions over the legality of the process has put the presidential race in jeopardy, leaving a community of vulnerable Libyans in limbo. For years, the Tibu, the Black Indigenous people of Libya, have been pushing back against policies and prejudices that block their pathway to citizenship and political representation in the country. What did he say? The indigenous people of Libya being denied citizenship and discriminated against. Watch it again. Despite general elections being up in the air, the Tibu remain steadfast in their fight to access freedoms afforded to other Libyans in the North African nation. Joining us now to unpack the challenges facing the in Black- the, the North African nation. Indigenous people of Libya is a member of the National Tibu Assembly, Mohamed Asanusi. He is the Director of Culture Development for the Libyan Ministry of Culture. Welcome to the show, Mohamed. Let me- This is a minister. This is not a fool. And he's a black man as you are watching him. And he's from the indigenous ethnic group, the Tibu of Libya. And he's doing interview on the national television. This is not a Tif X show. Let me start by asking you uh, about uh, the location, the culture, and the history of the Tibu people. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, hello, Mark. Thanks for having me tonight. It is a great opportunity for all the Tibu uh, to be here and to show their culture and uh, to give some description about the uh, Tibu. So because uh, my time, I wouldn't play the entire interview. So, but that's the that's the interview that the, 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 you can go on the link and watch it. He's going to tell you about the culture of his people. I will stop sharing and just show you the photos of the indigenous people called the Tibu. Do we see them again and see what are their Caucasians from Libya? All right. Uh, uh, uh. So you can see this news article here. It said a black Libyan minister, Marabuka Tugi, says her arrest was racism. So apparently the entire story is long. This sister here, you can see her sitting down by an Arab lady and a black brother behind her. They are from the indigenous tribe of Libya and she's appointed a minister and the Arabs are trying to kill her. They are against her. They said they can't allow her. She's a nigger and they won't allow her to be a minister. She's a slave. So Chief X, when you sit here and say there is no black indigenous people, remember there are thousands of indigenous black in the North Africa who are dying, struggling for their identity. And you are selling them up, setting them up to be killed. And you are telling them their struggle is in vain, that the land that they bled for and they have been there for thousands of years and United Nations recognize them as indigenous people to the land. You are telling the whole world that these people struggle, it means nothing even as the Arabs kill them day by day. Let me show you the photos of these people so that you know what I'm talking about because they are indigenous to Libya. We are not in Egypt now. We are not in Egypt. One minute. Oh man, one minute, not good for me. Good pause it, let me get this photo on, please. You got another round, don't worry about it. You got one final round coming up. Okay. And you can take off from where you've been left off at. All right. Um, right. Your time is one minute, one minute and six seconds. Okay. Uh, boo -boo. okay. All right. Are, are you seeing my screen? Yes, I see it. All right. I want to show you the Tubu people. Time is right. Time is All right. Chief X, I want you to see this. I know this is tripping. It's not easy to get this thing down. Oh my goodness. I think I have to do it my second round. I can see it. All Your right. Third round, you mean? Yeah, my third round. These are the Tubu people. I wanted to bring you closer to look at them, their culture, their traditions. I've seen them. I've been among them. I am not even reading from I live in their city uh, uh, called Saba in Libya. Here are they. Look at these women. Oh my God, it keeps falling out. I want you to show you. See these young ladies? Do they look different than any black I don't see no America? ladies. We don't see no ladies. Oh. 
What's going on? <laughs> 15 seconds. Okay, I think I will leave it for the next round. But the Tubu people, bro, I just show you the interview there in America. He's fighting for justice for his people in Libya. And this is happening. While you sit behind there in your comfortable room and deny these people of their land and they are being killed day by day by the Arabs. Then. All right, say so, um so Chief X, you are up to your last and final round. Yeah, this young is Tory, this is hold on, hold on, young Tory. I have no beef or problem with you, brother. Don't don't get it like that. I ain't got no beef with you. It's not personal. So, brother Chief, you have the floor. You got ten so minutes. So let me let me before before round. you before you start my minutes. Let me just say this. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Seku, it's fine for you to use Wikipedia. We're not doing no college dissertation. When people need to understand this. All right. No, 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 no. Chief X. No, you got to get your third okay. round, brother. Okay. Uh, you want me to start you now? You say all of that in your round. Okay, cool. Or you can wait until we open it up for um y'all two to ask each other questions. Uh, I'm ready. All right. Your time starts now. Okay. Let me present. When you ready. So when someone starts bashing Wikipedia, that means they're losing the argument. There's nothing wrong with using Wikipedia to find a simple definition uh, a term or a phrase, we do that. That's fine. It's an online dictionary. It's an online encyclopedia. We're not writing a dissertation or a thesis. It's fine. Wikipedia are for moments like this during a live stream and having a discussion. That's what it's for. Okay? And it's fine to use. It's fine for you to use. It's accurate information. Now, let me share my screen and shut him down because people are doing these tricks. Right? And... He did the same thing with the uh, Beja people that he's doing with uh, these people. And after I shut this down, okay, I'm going to um, go into my presentation. But I can't have you guys running around here thinking these people are North Africans. Because he's being tricky and he's lying. Let me show you who they are. They're on these camels, right? Guess why they're on these camels? Am I screen and sharing? Okay. Because they're in the Sahara Desert. They're not in North Africa. They're in the Sahara. Right? Look. It says, the Beja, excuse me, the Tubu, excuse me, I'm talking about Beja. <laughs> the Tubu, meaning rock, okay, are a what? Are a Saharan ethnic group. Stop right there. They didn't say North African. They said a Saharan ethnic group. Now, you have borders. But Tubu are mainly inhabiting what? Chad. And it says Southern Libya. Not Libya. They make the distinction of Southern Libya because Chad, Northern Chad, is basically southern Libya. You're on the damn border. Okay? So the population is Chad, which is Sahara, and below that is Sub Saharan. They're not North African people, they are Saharan ethnic group. You gotta be more honest, bro. Now, because in today's time, some are on the borders of Egypt, they deal with the Libya, excuse me, not Egypt, I'm sorry. Because some are on the borders of Libya, they deal with Libyan government. That's why they was on TV. I mean, you know, <laughs> so like right here, let me show you. And it tells you, let me make this smaller because I'm passing up something. It tells you where the major population is. The major population is right here in Chad. 375 to 400,000 in Chad. You have 130,000 on the border. And the rest of this, what is, what is this, 280,000 is in Niger, which is Sahara, and Sudan, which is below, is sub-Saharan also. So these are Saharan people. They're not a North African people. You are failing here, bro. This is why they're on camels in the desert. And they only deal with Libyan government because they're on the border and they don't have their own fucking government running right. 
No okay? profanity, oh, brother. My bag, my bag, my bag. Okay? So there are Saharan people. They're not a North African people. No one calls these people North Africans. No one in Libya accept them as North Africans. You have to be plain and honest. They're Saharan people. They are below North Africa. They, some of them just happen to be on the border. In today's modern times, people inch closer. So in today's modern times, yeah, you have people dealing with the Libyan government. But they're not indigenous to Libya. They're indigenous to the Saharan Desert and Chad and those areas. Now, we have to shut that down because these are tricks. I don't know why you reach for people at the borders of North Africa. Let me reach. Let me grab these people and pull them all the way up to North Africa. And No. Cut it out, bro. <laughs> now, let's get to this. Let's get to this. Can you pause it for one second, Senator? Yes. Let me just find this. You have 522. Okay. Let's go. Resume. Genetic history of North Africa. The genetic history of North Africa has been heavily influenced by geography. The Sahara Desert to the south and the Mediterranean Sea to the north were important barriers to gene flow. Listen. They were important barriers to gene flow from sub-Saharan Africa and Europe in prehistoric times. However, North Africa is connected to what? Western Asia. That's why Queen T, Hapshutsut, uh, 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 King Tut, and all these have what? West Asian DNA. Let me make sure people can see this. Okay? Um, in the Sinai, while at the Straits of Gibraltar, North Africa and Europe are separated by only nine miles. North Africa and Europe are separated from by nine miles. Okay? Similarly, Malta, Sicily, Crete are also close to the course of North Africa. Malta, Sicily, Crete are Mediterranean countries. See, when we talk about North Africa, they're Mediterranean people. The Tubu, the Beja, are not Mediterranean people. They never did Mediterranean trade and business and run around the Mediterranean because there are people who are lower, who are more southern. They're not considered North Africans. Let's continue. Um, so they're talking about although North Africa has experienced gene flow from the surrounding regions, it has experienced long periods of genetic isolation. Allowing distinctive genetic Berber markers to evolve in the native Berber people as well as a Coptic marker among Egyptian Copts. Today, this genetic Berber marker is consistently found in the regions and populations that still uh, um, predominantly date Berber languages as well as the Atlantic Canary Islands. Okay. Uh, similarly, Coptic markers found among Egyptians, particularly Coptic Christians. In Egypt, a recent genetic study showed that modern North Africans retain a significant genetic component from what? Paleolithic North Africans of the Iberian Muslim, excuse me, Ibero Marusian period. Okay? Current scientific debate is concerned with determining the relative contributions of different periods of gene flow. Let me just skip this. Um, anatomically, modern humans are known to have been present in North Africa during the Middle Paleolithic period, attested by the Jabrail Arud Shroud. It's not Sub-Saharan African. With morphological discontinuity. Let, 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 let me skip to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Whose lithic assemblages bore close relations with the Cro-Magnum cultures of Europe and Western Asia, rather than to rather than to the cultures of Sub-Saharan Africa or the Horn of Africa. So what they did here was they separated Sub-Saharan Africa and the Horn of Africa, which is Abasia, from these North African ancients who's been there for thousands of years. It says right here, 8,000 BC to 2700 BC in the eastern part of North Africa. Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Malta. It says nothing about Tabu, 
nothing about Beja, nothing about Sudan, nothing about anybody below North Africa. Okay, let me go here real quick and Google something. Hold on. Bam, here we go. Let's read. Scientists thought the Egyptian mummies didn't have DNA left. They were wrong. Ancient Egyptian money preser mummies preserved many details of the deceased facial. Let me just get to the nitty gritty. So they found what? 90 ancient Egyptian mummies and they sequenced them. The game-changing results give scientists their first insight into the genetics of ordinary ancient Egyptians. Let me continue. Let me find the nitty-gritty. How much time I got, sir? You heard me? No, say it again. You got 37 seconds. Oh, man. Well, I ain't got time. Then. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, well, you know what? These mummies have been found to have DNA only from West Asia and the Levant. So all the DNA, the mummy DNA they found all in North Africa, mainly Egypt, is found to be from Levant, West Asia, and North Africa. Nowhere lower. The only time they have sub-Saharan uh, um, DNA in any of North Africa is when the slave trade started in the era of slave trade. Now they have 8%. 8% sub-Saharan DNA in the ancient Egyptians. And, excuse me, not the ancient Egyptians. The modern Egyptians have 8% because they have some DNA from the Arab slave trade. But other than that, never. All right, brother Sekou, you on the clock. This is your last and final round. Time will start when you're ready. Um, Chief X, at this time, be prepared to ask Sekou a question because that's where we're going next. Sekou, no, no, no. I mean, we're going to rebuttal. We're going into the rebuttal round after Sekou finished his round. So I'm going to give y'all five minutes of rebuttal. So you still got five minutes left in the rebuttal round. Um, Chief X, you hear me? So get ready. Say cool. You are on the clock. Time will start when you start. You you okay. on now? I want to share my screen. So hold the time yet? All right. Is this the screen you're talking about? No. Okay. Let's get your screen. Yeah. So you should have took that off, so you ain't got to worry about getting back yeah. on that. Sorry. You see anything? Not yet. Oh my, I want to share a photo of the Beja women. So this, we stop talking. All right, let me see. Huh, this is, I mean, the tubu. Ah. This is so. I see your screen is sharing now. Okay. You see the photo? Um, I don't see anything. I just see a camel's neck and head. No, not, not that. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I, can, I can see that. It went back off. Okay. I want. Uh, uh, it, it went, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I could. I can see it when you had not, that up. I'm not trying to show the cut well. But if you're trying to show us that they're dark skinned, we all agree. You don't have to do that. No, it's not about dark skin. All right, Chief, <laughs> you got to go on. You got to go on mute. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I think it's, 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 it's hard for me to share the photo. So let me just do what I can do. So, guys, basically, uh, you see the screen? All right, time starts. Yeah. I you see, see the, the screen. screen? Yes. Yeah. So Beja people uh, are black indigenous Africans, okay? Libya, we all know. He said because somebody is located in the southern or eastern part of a country, that means they don't belong to that country. I don't know where he's getting all these theories from. So if somebody says you live in northwestern United States, then you are not in the United States. 
who, who, who set these parameters? Now let's read this article. It said the Libyan society comprised of many tribes, including the Arabs, the Barbers, the, the people who descended from Phoenicians, the Tuareg, and the Tubu. And they are a distinct ethnic group. So because somebody is an ethnic group, he said then they are not part of the country. He said because somebody, uh, um, uh, they said it's a Saharan tribe, so therefore they are not part of the country. When somebody says somebody is a Saharan tribe, what, then they are not North African. What are you talking about? It just means that before the Sahara dried up, because you don't understand that there was never a Sahara all throughout history. Sahara was a grain land. People lived there. So when they call somebody a Saharan tribe, just a nomenclature to say that these people were inhabiting the entire area you are calling Sahara Desert. They were there. And that's where North Africa falls. And they are in Libya today. And they are Libyan citizens. And they come from Saba. I gave you the name of their cities. And you are saying, no, they are not Libyans. What are you talking about? Then at the same time, you said, no, you they are, they are not black. Which What exactly are you trying to sell? Is it that they are not black or they are not Libyans? Because in all ways you fail because they are Libyans. I will show you again the photo of the people of Tubu. You see my screen, Sanera? Uh, Chief X, are you there too? Yes, sir. I can hear you. You see the photos on the screen? Yes, sir. I see the camels. Okay. No, not the camel. I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you what's in the photo. Camels and people. Oh, no. I have to stop sharing. I think I'm not, something is wrong. I don't know what's going on. I want to show you the women. Or oh, even if, if I can show it, I will go to this Al Jazeera article then. Let me just read that because I don't know what's happening. We've we okay. seen the taboo pictures. You don't need to show them all. I don't know. I, you you just remain mute and let me do my thing. Uh, okay. This is an article from Al Jazeera. Okay. It said when Marabu Katugi, a Libyan court, uh, let me start from the beginning. It said black Libyan minister. Mabruka Tugi says her arrest was racism. So I go down here to read the article, uh, and I want to start from here. She says, speaking from the temporary accommodation she's living in after her home in Tripoli was confiscated by the government, Tugi told Al Jazeera she was shocked by her arrest. Even if I was accused of killing people, there should be procedure that they should have taken with people like myself who have immunity from prosecution, such as withdrawing immunity and preventing me from traveling. Tugi said her initial complaint against her under secretary, Muhammad al Gawi came after she was threatened for pushing back against corruption and alleged she committed. Now, this go, okay, let me go to the anti tibu discrimination. So uh, this minister comes from a community called the Tibu community. She said, Tugi belongs to a Tibu community, a black minority, ethnic group who mainly live in southern Libya as well as Chad, Sudan, and Niger. This is Al Jazeera article written a few weeks ago. It said that Tugi, Tugi, this is the minister's name, she belonged to the table community, a black minority ethnic group. They are identified as black. So if some people identify as black, to you, Chief, they are not black. Why? Because they happen to live in Libya. So you have a problem with them. You are saying, you are giving all type of excuses. I am reading new article from Al Jazeera. I'm giving you scholarly journal that are saying that these people are a black minority ethnic group and they are indigenous to the land of Libya and they live in southern Libya. And you said, no, just because they live in southern Libya, they are not Libyan. But they have cities and towns. Saba, I gave you the name. They, they work in, and he said they, they, they have an affair with the government because they live there and Libya does accept them. Who cares whether a Libya accepts them? The white America accepts you? A white America accepts native? Wherein the native excluded from citizenship? In Canada here, where I live, where the native not excluded, even today, they do not enjoy the citizenship right. So they are not Canadians. They are not American because the government discriminated against them. Chief S, what is wrong with you, brother? I just show you. You deny the Tibu. 
who live in Chad. So those in live in Libya, they are not black. But when they live in Chad, then they are black. This Al Jazeera article said the Tibu community is a black minority ethnic group who mainly live in southern Libya. That's not issue of a border or not a border. They have their city and their town in Libya and they're indigenous. So Chief Ed, you have to argue with the scholars and say, because you don't accept it. Now, I will come very quickly because sharing these things, sometimes you don't accept. You come, you gave me photos of ancient Egyptian mummies. I, you know, you notice I try to avoid that discussion because you absolutely know what you do. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know that all those things you are reading, they are garbage, they have been debunked. Let me tell you about the article you just read about the DNA. Those DNA don't exist. The three mummies DNA that was found in Abu Sil symbol, they were not royal. Those mummies were found at the border at, with, with, between Egypt and Israel, and they were not identified. They were the mummy they identified to be are related to Near Eastern people. They have nothing to do with the royal mummy. Are you aware of many DNA of, 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 of kings from, from the DNA tribe? from many DNA companies that have identified ancient Egyptians as black African? Have you read about them? Have you read the one, the publication done by DNA tribe? Have you read the one done by Zai Awas that shows that Ramses the second is black? Well, you, you jump all these things and you start showing Eurocentric information and start saying you think that you are doing scholarship. That's not scholarship. When you go to Wikipedia, you can find there, they say the white man is God. So does that mean it's true? So this man may go on for 15 minutes. Any time up, you focus, Sadetta. I wasn't talking. Have some discipline. And I'm not, come on, relax, bro. I'm not trying to talk over you. I'm no, just, you don't. I'm, no, no, no. I, I was just notifying, notifying you shouldn't I'm be talking. Relax, you you're getting angry. Yo, no Chief reason. X, why are you, you talking, talking, though, Chief? What are you doing? You shouldn't be talking. His time is right here. I got his time. Now I paused it. Don't be talking. What is you, you doing, see? Chief? You... Bring, oh, you bring yeah. out information that don't uh, let me tell you you have not done any scholarship because what you're doing you quoting petri i can tell you everything you said here tonight you are just regurgitating what the 19th century european scholars said and those things that have been rejected they divide africans into negro and into uh, uh, hamite those things are garbage have you read about the unesco conference of 1974 when Sheikh Anta Diop confronted the Egyptology scholarship, read the conclusion of the debate by UNESCO. It says that there was imbalance in the argument because the Europeans did not have any argument to present before African scholars that the ancient Egyptians were black in their language, their culture, their feeling, everything about them was African and black. And no Egyptologist debates that today. The Metropolitan Museum of Art in America, where you live, they have just made an exhibition of African origin of civilization, and they presented Egypt as an African civilization. We should trust you, Chief X, or the Metropolitan Museum. Are you credible than the Metropolitan Museum? Are you credible? The French Louvre Museum just did an exhibition about the pharaohs of the two land, show that the North African Kushites ruled ancient Egypt in the 25th dynasty. Are you better now or we should take you seriously than the Louvre Museum and all the African scholarship? And if you go on Wikipedia and start reading things from white supremacy website and start reading things from Petri, start reading things from all these Egyptologists that had no idea what they were talking about. You use the word Caucasian. Do you know the meaning of Caucasians? You don't know. The word Caucasian was referring to people at the Caucasus Mountain. It's even a wrong word that was used to show that Europeans were the origin of humanity. And they were using that to say anybody that have a phenotype that look like white people is Caucasian. Who says that? A stupid European. So now we take it because why? Chief X accept it? No. There is no such a thing as a black Caucasian. It's a joke. You have to show me that the scientific meaning of Caucasian and see how it's sued in. The Tutsi of Rwanda have long noses, have all the phenotype that you will call Caucasian. 
They are black African. They have no DNA mixture with any white population. The, the Rwanda genocide happened due to the, the, the phenotype war of African having different phenotypes. So if you sit here and be talking and say somebody has this phenotype so he doesn't look like this one, you are playing a game that died in the 19th century. I'm going to give you an extra 10 seconds, say cool, because he spoke on your time. So keep talking. Go ahead. 10 seconds. Yeah. So what I show you here, I've given you a lot of information tonight to show you that the, 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 the Beja are black people and they are indigenous to North Africa. Sudan is in North Africa, geographically speaking. North, East, and West is easy to identify. You can sit in your chair and say, I changed the geography tonight and America is no longer in the Northern Hemisphere. We will take you to a psychiatric hospital. Something wrong with you. You don't understand that geography, you can't change it. Okay, um, Chief X, you have five minutes in your rebuttal round. You can share your screen however you want to do it. It's up to you. And um, if you want to share your screen or if you just want to talk in your five-minute rebuttal, it's on you. Remember, you can't be talking when the next person talking. He didn't talk on your time. It's on you, Chief. Okay. You got five minutes. So, so, okay. So, that I didn't talk on his time. I was just trying to get your attention, uh, interject for a brief second. I meant no harm. Yeah, and, but no, 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 no. Son, let, me, let me just say this. Let me just say this, Sonetta. When I started this this thing, I said, we're adults. We can have an adult conversation. We're cool. Nobody's trying to, I'm not, me no harm. It's okay. okay. If I'm talking and he just wants to interject for some clarity, hey, go ahead. And then yeah, I'll continue. He, he no, 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 I'm, I'm, no, 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 I understand. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying how I feel about it. I'm yes, not gonna get okay. my. Get, I'm not gonna get all in a bunch because he just wants to interject for a uh, two seconds. I mean, like, calm down, y'all. <laughs> Relax. No, I understand. Though I understand. No, I understand. No, I, under I understand. And when you ask a question, it it knocks them off, and it might make them forget. What okay, they I, I, I get you. Okay, sir. And then okay, they'd be like, okay. "Damn, I just, I, you know, I lost okay. my thought." I got you, sir. No, so you I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just saying that this whole thing. Don't, I don't want you to make this act like right, right, this whole not, debate no. been going on. I've been quiet when it's right, his turn. Right. Just because I interjected right, for two right. seconds, I don't want you to make it to try to demonize me. Right, right. Okay, no, no. okay, okay. So check this out. So take that, scratch that off the record. Ain't nothing. Everything is going smooth right now. You don't get penalized for none of that. So okay. you got five minutes in your rebuttal. Okay, check this out. So when I came on. I said, no one can name, listen to my wording. You guys have to focus. No one can name a Negroid, a Congoid, a, a black folk tribe or nation that is indigenous to North Africa, Europe, the Levant, the Near East, uh, and the Caucasus. He didn't touch any of them four areas, so no one can mention a tribe for any of them four areas. He couldn't touch it. No one could. Now, let's deal with North Africa. He brought up two different people this whole time. The Beja and the Tabu. Both of them just happened to be on the borders, but people like to bring them up more and just... He couldn't just say the majority of the populations in Chad and be honest like I would be. The majority of the taboo is in Chad. I showed that. It's told you it is the Sahara. If there are a Sahara people, I showed that. It, no one calls them a North African people. They're a Sahara people. And the Beja are a people from the Horn of Africa. They're not indigenous to Egypt. They're an ethnic group nowadays because they're on the borders. Just like Taboo, nowadays, they're an ethnic group because they're on the borders of Libya. But overall, he didn't touch none of them areas. And he can only find people on the borders at the bottom of southern Libya and at the way at the bottom of southern Egypt. That's it. Basically, he can't find no North African black tribe. He can't find no black tribe outside of North Africa. He failed today miserably. We know 
that the Beja is not indigenous to any other area but the Horn of Africa. Okay? Egypt is not considered the Horn of Africa. It's considered a transcontinental country. Connected to West Asia, the Mediterranean, and North Africa. Notice I didn't say Africa. I said North Africa. It's a difference. Just like it's a difference when I was in the Navy, we went to Southeast Asia. We always say Southeast Asia to make sure we're not just saying Asia to make somebody think, oh, we're in Iran. <laughs> so in academics and in scholarship and in adult talking and communicating to be clear and give clarity to people, we say, okay, this person's from Africa. If we, if we say Africa, we go, where in Africa? It's a fucking continent. People are going to know, oh, West Africa. Oh, okay, West Africa. Now we get it. We're clear. We have the visual now, okay? So when I'm talking about Cambodians, I shouldn't have to confuse that with Iranians, people from Kazakhstan, and people from Turkey. So in, 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 in academic, they always refer to Egypt as North Africa. They never, ever just say Africa. So today, I showed all the mummies, we have 90 of them sequenced, all 90 Near East, West Asia, none in Sub-Saharan Africa. All of them. So it's 90 to 0 is the score. No mummy DNA is in any of y'all's favor in Sub-Saharan Africa. I'm sorry. None of that's in your favor. You only have 8% DNA in Egypt. Today, only 8%. And that came from the slave trade. You guys have failed miserably. Egypt has never been black. Dr. Ben was wrong. And all the elders were dead wrong or lying. They were hotep hustling and trying to make money off a of naive black folk who didn't know any better. He, Dr. Ben never taught West Central African history. Dr. Ben taught Caucasian history only. He was no good for us. I'm sorry this sounds harsh, people. This is a reality. Dr. Ben taught Caucasian people history. Egyptians, Arabs, Berbers are Caucasian people in physical anthropology. They're Caucasoids. He never came with us. He lied to us about saying he's Ethiopian. He lied saying his mother's Puerto Rican. He didn't even say Afro-Puerto Rican. His mom ain't no Puerto, nothing Puerto Rican about Dr. Ben. Ain't nothing Ethiopian about him. He's a straight band too. And he taught Caucasian history. All right, Brother Sekou, you have five minutes in your um, rebuttal. Okay, I'll share my screen very quickly. Okay, Sanera, my screen is shared. Yes, I see it. Yeah, start my time. So, I've shown that brother over and over that there are indigenous tribes in North Africa. And one of the last one we just discussed is the, the Tubu people. Now, I'm reading another article. This is a UNCHR, the United Nations Refugee Agency, collaboration with the Red Wall. And guess what it say on the top? The war directory of minority and indigenous people of Libya, Tebu. Let's read what it says. Now he's better than the UN now. He said that Tebu also spelled Tubu, a traditional nomadic black tribe found where? In Libya, in Chad, in Sudan, and in Niger. He said they are just a little group of them that live in Libya. You said there is none. He said, oh, they just live at the border area. You said there was none. And they have been there since when? When it comes to the, the, the Beja, 4,000 BC since they've been in Egypt. And an Egyptian kingdom started 3,100 BC. That means they were there before the ancient Kemet was even formed or unified. He jumped over all that and said they come from the Horn of Africa. But what I read to you will tell you that they have been there since time immemorial. Is English the problem? Or you just look at white and call it black and feel good? That's all you're doing. Now, let's go to who populated the land we call ancient Egypt. Because he's jumping around with wars. Let me give you the archaeology. 
because I'm not talking just like you. I'm giving sources. Now, this is the archaeology, Nazla Kata. Okay, I have a lot of time there. That's good. Now, look here, Chief X. This is the Nazla Kata. If you don't know anything about this, this is an excavation that was done in Egypt to know who were the people, modern people, who settled in Egypt and started anything called civilization at all. I'm not talking about prehistoric. I'm not talking about uh, uh, two, three hundred thousand years ago during the Homo sapiens sapiens. No, the modern man who settled in Egypt and began civilization. Who is he? Now, they say the Nazla Kata excavation. So I'll go to the second paragraph here. He said, Ron Hasey and Patrick Semmel, this is the source, found strong sub-Saharan affinities in the 33,000 skeleton found from Nazla Kata in Upper Egypt. Boom. There was no Mediterranean. Where are the Arabs? Where are your Caucasian brothers and your European teachers? 33,000 skeletons found, all sub-Saharan affinities in Nazla Kata. That means the entire land of Egypt, we are having people black as a thousand midnight and as people in Congo. And that's where the, the entire civilization in the Nile Valley started. There is nothing of any, this is, this is happening when? Around, um, let me give you the date. This is about, 30, about 33,000 BC or so, 30,000 BC or 50,000 BC. This is when this is happening. They found 33,000 skeletons and all of them have sub-Saharan affinity in Nazla Kata. Are you going to deny this? Where were those your Arab brothers and your Mediterranean brothers? Where all these ancestors, look at, you can even see the remain here is in the museum. This man laying down here, an African ancestor in Egypt. You now you tell him that no, there was the Sahara and he could not cross. You are, all your arguments are faulty. You said North Africa, there is no black. Mauritania is identified North Africa, it's black. You reject, why? No reason. Sudan, geographically North Africa. They have border with Egypt. They've been together in the same Nile Valley throughout prehistoric time. You reject it. What is the reason? No reason. The Beja have been in Egypt since prehistoric time, 4000 BC. You reject them as Egypt, Egyptian. Why? No reason. The Tebu, black indigenous tribe, having their cities and towns in Libya, you reject them. Why? Because they have brothers in charge. So because we have Arabs in Arabia, there should be no Arab in Africa then. Are you okay, Chief X? What are you talking about? The proof is before you. The evidence is before you. I've given you the archaeology, Nazla Kata. 33,000 skeleton for all sub-Saharan Africa. All these, your DNA you are giving. You don't even know they've been debunked. These are things that came out about three mummies that were found at the border of Egypt. Three mummies, not royal, not even identified. There were foreigners in Egypt, of course. And some of these DNA results, there is no comprehensive DNA about the ancient Egyptian population. There is, and when you are looking at DNA also, you have to be careful. What are they tracing? What are they looking for? Are they following the mother bloodline? Um, all right, we are here. We are at the question and answer period. We are here at the question and answer period. And um, remember, cut on your camera if you wish to be in the question, if you wish to be in the Q&A. The link is at the top of the screen. If y'all have any questions, you come in, ask your question, and that's it. Let me ask the first question. Brother Chief X, I got to say, you got heart. You got heart, brother. You got heart, brother. Coming in here, just going at Dr. Ben like that, accusing him of being a liar, of not being a Puerto Rican, of having a Puerto Rican mother. Brother, this is this is slander at this point, brother Chief X. So are you really serious about... The ancient Egyptians not being black, and you are really calling them Europeans now? I you never called them Europeans. That, you're going to give that greatness to another race of people and not our ancestors. That's the question for you, brother. See, what we want to do is attach to something sexy, a.k.a. your word, great, because we feel 
as black Americans that sub-Saharan Africa and West Africa is not sexy. So we need to steal they shit so we can be sexy. I clearly showed you every single DNA uh, um, extracted from all mummies in Egypt. 100% is West Asia, the Levant. 100%. There's no getting around that. Period. Ancient Egypt was not black people. I, you know, we wish and hope it's not us. We are tropical Africans. We come out the Congo. We come out of Nigeria, Ghana. Ghana's a forest. We are tropical Africans. We're not desert Africans. Okay? From where we, we come, we see these nappy features. Okay? I showed all the genetic genetics of North Africans. It's not in our favor. He can't disprove that. What he did just now was just rambling and crying because he failed miserably today. Okay, okay. We don't want to go too long with the um, answers. Um, isn't it true, Chief X, that um, Should I when you are being you? mummified, don't they shave your head? Because you were showing hair. You were showing a lot of hair. Isn't it true that they mummy that they shave you first? How could they have hair if they saved you? They don't. Okay. So let me bring on my next brother. Um, brother Lionel, you are in the queue. Well, I meant you... they don't They don't shave them. They okay. have hair. I got you. I, got I, you. I, sh I showed Queen T's hair. I showed Thuya's hair. Yuya's hair. I showed all the Egyptian mummies' hair, and it's all Caucasian hair. Everyone's seen it. They can clown in the chat if they want. They've seen it. They know he couldn't touch me tonight. Go ahead. Okay, Brother Lionel, you are on the queue. You're on the call. This, uh, can I respond, Lionel? Oh, yes, you can respond. I want you to know for, that y'all can for, also respond. For, for so Just to correct, because he's deflecting. You know, when you give somebody blow and they know they can't repeat, they start dancing around. This was not about Egyptian mummy, yo. yo I, want you to, I want you guys to know that. If he was prepared to have another debate with me, with ancient Egyptian DNA and then the mummies, how can prepare and come for that? We were discussing tribes. Are there indigenous tribe, black tribe in North Africa? And I've given two, and I've even given nations, Mauritania. Let, uh, you can look it up, Geography 101. These nations are in North Africa, and I give you ethnic groups. And he said they live at the border. Therefore, they are not North African. He said because they are minority, therefore they are not indigenous. So anybody living at the border, you are not citizens of your country. Say so, Chief X. Okay, we're gonna move forward. Um, I don't want y'all to, to go too long with the quest with the answers. Uh Lionel, you on the call, brother. Uh how you how you all doing today? We good, brother. That's what's up. Uh I have a question for um both of the debaters. Um, are you two gentlemen familiar with what the um, Arab general said that the Berbers had looked like when they first encountered them in uh, the 640s? Can I respond? Yeah, either one. Go ahead. Yeah. So the, there's an, the article I show up uh, was talking about Ibn Awqa. Ibn Awqa, I don't know what, uh, he came and went through the Sahara, through North Africa, and then went all the way towards Northwest Africa, and then he, he documented stuff before even the Arab invasion. So he talked about the Amazi, who are the barber you are talking about, the, the, somebody identifies Amazi. He described in this uh, Beja, he, the, the same name he's called, they call Sudan today, these not the black people. That's the same way he described these people. He described the Beja as black, Aswad. This is what he called them. Now, for the Amazi, what he called them, that idol, but even Auka described the Lebu that they were in Egypt fighting any Arab group that enter and trespasses, they were the one fighting them. And he said they were black people. Some of them were not even Muslims. Some of them were even Christian at the time because Christianity preceded Islam in that area before they eventually converted. So for the answer of your question, he identified the Beja as black. For the Amazi and Tuareg, I don't have a record for that. 
All right, Chief, you want to answer? Unmute yourself. Can you repeat the question? Uh, my question was, are you two both familiar with what the uh, Arab generals had said that the Berbers looked like when they invaded them in 640? Well, I know what the Arabs did say when they came in and, and, and invaded invaded Egypt, right? Right. When they came into Egypt, the Arabs didn't call the Egyptians black people. They went down further south, and they called they called that Sudan, which means land of the blacks, meaning. The Egyptians that they passed up, they didn't see them as black people. Bottom line. Or they would have called Egypt land of the blacks. But it wasn't land of the blacks. Land of the blacks was southern in Sudan. This is why Herodotus and all the other people called Ethiopia the burnt face. They didn't call North African people the burnt face. They called it the dark uh, 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 continent and when the explorers came when they say the dark continent they're talking about Sudan and sub-Saharan Africa they never called the dark continent North Africa the dark continent because North Africans weren't black folk <laughs> so if Arabs came in and enslaved black folk why didn't they enslave Egyptians because they wasn't black folk <laughs> Case closed. I mean, this is simple logic. They, he, they, they didn't call Egypt land of the blacks. They called Sudan land of the blacks because Egyptians wasn't black. One plus one equals two. Common sense science. Now, Can I answer what you just said? You made a lot of error, primary school error. First of all, before the Arabs came in, who was in Egypt, the Mamluks? People just talk because they feel like talking. The Arabs were not afraid light skin to come into Egypt. Arabs came yesterday, 7th century. Before the Arabs came, the Mamluk Turks have already taken over that area. Muhammad Ali Pasha was already enslaving the black people. I want to say for the record, no, he no, already no, no, answered no, no, the wait, question. Wait. He I answered the question wrong. already. We right. have he is correct. He is correct. Say you cool. already answered say the cool. question. Say cool. He is correct. We got to move on. Um, are you done, Brother Lionel? Can I answer what... Um, well, hold on, because he's about to start giving lecture. He asks us a question. We answer yeah, yeah, it both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You just, it's just questions. Um, Question and answers, brother. Okay. I'm, can we get another question from someone else Hold now? on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. Um, I let's go to um, Dare. Stay right there, Lionel. If you got another question, I'll come back around. Brother Dare, it's on you. You got the call. Oh, yes. Uh, well, um... Well, I have uh, one question and then a comment to make. Uh, my question is, uh, is Chief X aware of Dawara people in India, subcontinent? Uh, they live in a place called Adaman Island. How do those people get to the Indian subcontinent? Um, that's my question, but I, I want to make a comment to support what uh, Brother Sekou uh, said. Um, Prior to 2017, there's no way you can sequence the DNA of any mummies. The DNA that was sequenced, that was a publication made in, uh, I believe, in Nature magazine in 2017, May uh, 30th of 2017. And what they did, they found three mummies in Cairo, the Mediterranean part. Of All right, brother, you just got to ask the question. Ask the question, bro. Come on, man, because you, you, you. No, no, so. The they can find it. They find, it. it. they find it in their teeth. They find it in different All ways. Right, they, on, they, they Let me deal with it. You just got to ask the question, brother. What is your question, dear? So that's impermissible inductive argument. You cannot use three mummies. Oh, Do you God. have a question, brother? Do you have a question? That's the question. The, the Jawara people, the black people in Indian subcontinent, how did they get to India? Okay. okay. Now, let's say this. Uh, are you talking about the Adamanese Island? Right? Yes, the Adamanese. Okay, okay, okay. See, we have to really listen and pay attention to what people are saying. You can't answer that question. I can't answer how they got there. And even, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Even scholars are clueless about the Adam and Eve people, this one outlier group out of a thousand people. Now, what happened is, where you messed up is, because people are reaching, I never mentioned anything about India. I said North Africa, Levant, the Near East, Caucasus, and Europe. You're going somewhere else in another angle. I'm not even talking about India because I know they're there already. I'm smarter than the average bear. So I never mentioned India, and I never mentioned anywhere way deep <laughs> in Southeast Asia. Okay, so we have to focus and listen and stop with the tricks and the mind games and stuff. Stick with my claims and what I'm asking. No one yet for a whole year and even as the debate has named a black tribe in North All right, that's it. North that's Africa. it. We don't want it too long. So, All right, yeah, we want to move on to the next question. If you want to come back with a question, stay in the queue. All right, we're going to Brother Omar Williams. Peace and black power, Brother Omar. You gave what's the up? wrong answer, and I don't have to correct this, son. Oh, damn, my bad. My bad. When you want to respond, you got to... No, I didn't give a wrong answer. I'm just saying I don't know where they came from. That's no, an honest, come correct on, answer. Come on, come on, Chief. Go ahead and say cool. All right. Chief X said, you listen to him, go back to this video. We sub-Saharan black have never left. We have never left where we live. We've already remained over there. The Sahara is impossible. He, he when, because when he talked, I think he talked before he thinks, but he said that several times. Now the brother asked you, the Jawara tribe, they've been there. Their DNA shows that they've been there for hundreds of thousands of years. And they look like anybody in Central Africa. If Africa could not cross the Sahara, how did they find themselves in India? That's the question. And you said you don't know. And the reason why you don't know you, you, you is because you have not studied evolution. You have not studied the out of Africa theory. You have not studied how African populated the earth as, as, as they look today before the transformation happened. That's what you're trying to avoid. I know what you did there. Go ahead, brother. All right. Okay, we're going to move on. Let's go to Omar Williams. You got the floor, brother. Hey, peace out. Can you hear me? Peace. I hear you. All right, great. So, Chief X, do you recall when Ankh addressed this with you? on the pseudo killer site on the pseudo killers channel he had mentioned the brooklyn museum right now there's an exhibit there that you could even check out saw and on that page brooklynmuseum.org it says the ancient egyptians were an indigenous african people who first appeared in the southern nile valley by 4500 bce and spread northward to Lower Egypt, joined over 5,000 years by other Africans from Nubia and Libya, as well as Semites. So, as Smash had alluded to this the other night, he, has said, he clearly said the Nubians fed the Egyptians. So, what's your response to that? All right, go ahead, say, yeah. um, go ahead, Chief X. First of all, Ankh, misunderstood the article misread the article and you piggybacking off of his misinformation and misreading okay the article was talking about prehistory coming out of the sahara and migrations and things like that but you're talking about nubia i'm asking people to name me a tribe in north africa you see you you're bringing up different topics to try to you know sway the be real I, I am being real. Okay, so Nubia, you can't, na you can't, you hold can't. On, hold on, brother. He got to finish. You, you, you cannot name any North African, who, who black, who's indigenous North African. You're talking about people coming up from the South. That's not even what we're talking about today. I'm okay. sorry, but I know you wanted to have a gotcha moment, but you're a little off top the top today's okay. topic. So, so are you saying that a abandoned land? And one more thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just. Let me add to wait it. A minute. I'm, I'm gonna let you go. Let me just add to it. No. Me, no. Wait, wait a minute. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Come. Y'all can't. Y'all can't be a dose. I just want to add to it. I'm just gonna let you continue. The population isn't where it is at today. So there was there was free land all over Africa. So so you're telling me that the Nubians could not have. Uh, I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here to debate you. You're here to ask a question. And I answered your question, and your you your question you asked was off base. And by the way, the Jarawa people, 
the, uh, Adam and Eve's people, their DNA is Asian. Okay. It is not related to anyone in sub-Saharan Africa. Right. So and Hold on, hold on. And I wasn't talking about India. All so right. both of you guys, hold on, hold on. Both of you guys are reaching for shit. Hey, Sa, he's an old then, dude. No, hold on, bro, hold on. You, you asked your question. I'm just clarifying. Now, you guys are reaching for shit that I'm not even talking about. No cursing, and, brother. Oh, I'm sorry, Senator, and trying to fool the audience. Let's keep it on the topic and specific, and let's not go all out the way. Let's just be real with each other right now. It's okay. So, okay? so I said Nubia, which is in Africa. Yeah. Source the Egyptian population. That's what I'm saying. In other you, words, the Nubians started the Egyptian population. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. Let me just saying. say. Let me just say this. The Sphinx is right there on the Mediterranean. One of the oldest structures. Nubians ain't built that. Well, whatever was on that Mediterranean, the Sphinx is right there, close to the Mediterranean coast. If the Sphinx is on the Mediterranean coast, then Mediterranean people built it. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. So. That's what that means. Yeah, yeah, because nine, mean, because eighty percent. But we're not here to. I'm not. We're not here to debate, bro. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. We're not here to debate. All right, come on. So, um, see, yeah. you got to move forward. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right. this, and I'm done with it. The, 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 the pyramid of Giza is right there in the Delta in Cairo. Sphinx is right there, close to Alexandria. All that is close to the Mediterranean and the wetlands, okay? That is Mediterranean people's area where they inhabited and did business and trade. Don't bring no other people up trying to make that their area. That's being disingenuous, all right, okay? All right, all right, all um, right. Say cool, you want to respond? Yeah. You know, I told you from the beginning, sir, that uh, someone look at black and call it white, there's nothing you can do to develop up their mind. He has not critiqued the sources that I gave. Chief X... You said we've never crossed the Sahara. I gave you Nasla Kata, 35,000 BC, and I gave you all these sources that the bones they found in Egypt, who were the ancestors of the people who live on that land. And they said they are affinity with sub Saharan Africans. Isn't that obvious enough? Who are Nama's parents? Who are the parents of Nama who started a civilization? Say, say, it said, no, listen, I didn't talk when you were talking. It was, it was, they were. He's not answering that man's question. No, no, no. Say, yo, 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 you got to let him go, Chief. He got to, he can answer any kind of way he want. He's not asking a question. Oh, man. He's not. The man. I'm trying to let you know. Are you responding to the question, Say cool? Yeah, I'm responding because the answer he gave. Why are you talking to me about some beliefs? You're not responding yeah, to his question. That's All right, come on, let's keep it. Let's keep it. I don't want to go through the screaming and yelling with both of y'all. Yeah, because yeah, you, you, you're, you're, mess, you're messing the. All right, all right. Um, let's move on. Say cool. Finish up so we can move on to yeah, the next the question. Migration, the migration, what has been established today by modern scholarship, Sarnena, is that those who inhabited the Nile Valley, specifically Egypt, were a population indigenous to Africa. UNESCO accept that. Museums around the world accept that. And being indigenous to Africa means they came out of the southern part, which you are calling sub Sahara, and they migrated towards north to build that civilization. Okay, we moving came on. out of the Levant to build the civilization. That is in all scholarship consensus. All you are saying there, those things you are reading on Wikipedia, they are for children who don't know what's going this on. This is another lecture. All right, come on, yo, brother, you gotta please, man. You can't talk when somebody else is no, talking. No, Sadara, I'm I'm trying to agree with no, you. No, don't not worry hear about me. it, brother. Overruled, okay. overruled. Okay, so brother. overruled. Okay, so you um overruled. You're being uh, biased. Stop most, stop most, stop Moses. You are on the clock. Can you turn on the camera? Let's go. Stop Moses. You on the clock? Go on once, go on twice. You are now kicked out. You don't want to turn on the camera. Let's go to Mr. Rich. Mr. Rich, you are up. You are on the clock. It's on you, brother. Do anybody have any questions for Say Cool now? Let's get it. Uh, yeah, this is a question for uh, Chief X. This is a true or false question. OK. All right. <clears throat> About 4,500 to 5,000 years ago, North Africa was green with vegetation 
and the period is known as the Green Sahara or African Hominid period. Is that a true statement? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You said what? Yes? Yes, sir. What so you said, North the Sahara Africa was green. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to read it again. About, four th- about 14,000 500 to 5,000 years ago, North Africa was green. North Africa was green with vegetation. And the period is known as the Green Sahara or African Hominid period. Is that a true statement? No, because you messed up the question. You said North Africa was green. You're supposed to say the Sahara was green. Listen to what I'm saying. No, I I, I listen to you. I'm, wait, wait, I'm repeating. Wait, 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 wait. Brother, I listen, slow down. I'm, I'm, I know, I'm slow down. You said North Africa was green. I'm just correcting you. The Sahara no, was green. No, you're not correcting me. You're okay, well, go ahead. Repeat it again. Well, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Calm down. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. Okay. Go ahead again. Okay, I'm, but I'm just trying to get clarity. Calm down. Relax. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm telling, okay, brother, go, chill out. okay. Right. so go ahead again. <laughs> okay, listen, bro. <laughs> Y'all be like. <laughs> 14, I'm going to say it one more time, brother. Okay. About 14,500 to 5,000 years ago. You get that? Uh Uh-huh. North Africa, you know North Africa, right? Yeah. Was green. Right? Right? Are are you done? You want me to go ahead on? Go ahead on? No, no, no. I want to get a yes so I can move on so we won't have clarity. Okay, this is what I was doing. People, is was North Africa green? Yes, bro, or no? bro. You can't sit here and be be friction with me. I'm trying to answer you. Relax. That's what I'm trying to breathe, bro. Green. Uh, listen, you're phrasing the yes question. Yes or no, bro. I'm not here to debate you. I'm trying to answer was your question. Green? Everything is not an. Hold, hold on, brother. Let him. Let him. Let him clarify your question. Make sure he understands it. That's all. Damn. Yeah, relax. I keep trying. And we can have an adult conversation. Relax. It's, it's not a gotcha. You have to be quiet. You have to be quiet. Bro, you have to be quiet. Let him ask you so he can know, y'all can be on the same page. And all I'm trying to do is get clear. I'm trying to understand you. I'm not trying to wiggle. This is Chief X. I don't run. So relax. If I need clarity, I'm asking, then you can re-ask it. Relax. Okay. To me, you're asking the question backwards. The Green Sahara, they say. They don't say the Green North, North Africa. The, 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 the humid area, the humid, what do you call it, the human period, hum, humid period where it was green before it dried up. They're talking about the Sahara Desert, not North Africa. North okay. Africa has always had the Mediterranean Sea where they were able to be close to water and do business right, and trade right. and be Mediterranean, okay. be so Mediterranean people. Ask, so I'm saying this, yes, the, yes, the Sahara, oh yes, the, hold on, hold on, yes, the Sahara was green and it's been green about, green and dried up about 200 different times over the million years. That's what it does. I said North, listen, I said North Africa I heard you. Green. No, Chief, Chief, Chief. Let him ask the question. Go ahead, brother. Okay, there's a true or false. This is the last. This is the same thing. Cause we got to get past this point. North Africa was green with vegetation, and the period is known as the Green Sahara. Sanetter. Do you know? Yes or no? Do you agree with that? Sanetter. North Africa. He's was asking green. you a question. I, I know. I'm, I'm, right. This is the same question three times. Just answer it. Okay, I'm going to answer it for the third time. Now you can go. For the third time, the green Sahara was green. They don't say green North Africa. You're confusing terms so and asking that? the question backwards. Okay, so, so I'm asking that? for the third where time the same way because you're asking the question just, three brother, times the same way. Just ask your question, brother. Just ask your question. He bro. asked it three. Then he'll ask it a fourth okay, time. Okay, 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 no, okay, he's okay, hitting. Okay, he's now, trying now. to get you to commit to the question first. Then he's going to ask your question. I, I, I already did. I told him he's asking the question wrong. All right, so it brother, ask your question. What's your whole Is question? True? Is that true, t no, the say I said no. The Sahara was green, not North Africa. No, so the answer is no. no. It's not true, brother. N- now move so on. The Sahara. So, so, so the Green Sahara is not in North Africa. Is what you're telling me? <laughs> the Green Sahara is in the Sahara Desert. That's it's called the is it Sahara. In North Africa? No, 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 no. It's it's it, it's it. The Sahara Desert is huge. It it, it connects to is it West. In North listen, Africa, listen, listen. 
the Sahara, the, the, the dry Sahara connects with West Africa, East Africa, North Africa. In, I'm, North? I'm explaining it all. North? It's in all of them. It's in North, West, South, East, West. It has four sides. So it was in the West, it was in the East, it was in the South, and in the North. All right, brother. So Did he yes. answer your question? It was it was in all of the areas. Okay, it has a southern side, it has a northern side, it has an eastern right. side, and have a western side. What's wrong with your logic, bro? Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Okay, all right, brother, goodbye. Say cool. You want to respond? Green Sahara is in North Africa. Bye, bro. Bye, bye, bye. All right, brother. All right, brother. It's not. It's in, cool. it's in. It's in. It's in. It's in Saharan Africa. It's in West Africa. It's in North Africa. It's in all, all, right. all of them. You said, it, Steve. you said that. Let's go. Um, say cool. Respond to it. North Africa was green. North Africa was green because they, 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 this is a logical issue here. It's like saying North Africa is not in the Sahara. North Africa is literally in the Sahara Desert. Libya is, uh, I mean, uh, Egypt is surrounded by desert. It's literally a desert country. So you can say one hand that the Sahara was green and then the, uh, uh, Egypt was in desert. Or say Egypt was green and then the Sahara was in desert. It made no sense. Y'all making up shit right now. First yeah. of all, he asked the question. Chief, you're, chief, oh, no, no. Chief, 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 no, chief, I didn't interrupt. Sal, you. you're being biased. I'm not He's, being biased. But let me tell you why. Can I can, no, can I tell you why? Not, can I tell not, you why, brother. Sonetter? No, brother, you gotta stop, not, man. I'm not, not being biased. I'm being fair. S to both of you. He's you not he's talking to me. He's not he's not answering that man's question. Well, yes, he is. He's talking about Sahara. He is. He just answered it. He said it was Bruh. green. Okay. Okay. Listen. This is what I'm saying. So let me just say nah, this. Nah, 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 no. 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 I'm Do you? No. When he chief, asked me. Chief, no. Okay. Go ahead. Chief, go ahead. Go ahead. Him have discipline. Go, 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 go. He's not doing that to go, you, bro. Go. 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 Come on, man. Go. Go. Mind games right now. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. The, 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 the this is a bias. This is a bias show. Hey, hold up. Watch this. Family, everybody in the audience, stop crying. Still, see, you crying bias now. And I'm being no, as fair I'm, as I, I can. Okay, Sonetta, I'm up, only trying this. to get clarity. And you audience. won't even let me get clarity with you. Am I being biased towards the brother? Or am I being fair? Tell the truth. Don't lie. If I'm, if y'all feel I'm being biased, then let them know. Yeah, you, you being biased, sir. I'm being so, as fair as I can with everybody, bro. Okay, okay. Can I just say one thing before he go? Let me just say, I'm talking to you now. I'm not about that. So no, him. but see, there you go again. You okay, well, let him go. Forget it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Your head say cool. I was just trying to get clarity with you, but go ahead. Yeah. The problem is honesty. Is very Look at the important. chat. Everybody telling but you. But this, this chat is the peanut gallery. Fuck them niggas. Oh man, <laughs> damn. They crazy you as hell. Them out. You curse it. Go ahead, go ahead, say cool. We are not niggas. We are responsible people. And black Shut company. your ass up, nigga. Oh, my God, man. Come on, Chief. Come on, Chief. You're doing good right now, brother. Go ahead, say cool. Okay. So, uh, the Sahara Desert and the Great Sahara, it's like one coin of the two sides. That has two sides. The, the entire North Africa, there's a reason why the climate there is different from West Africa. If you look at it, the map he showed up, they show the entire, below the Sahara is green. Starting from the desert, going up to North Africa is the same color, it's gray. Telling you that North Africa is literally in the Sahara Desert. So, North Africa was green uh, 50,000 or 13,000 years ago, 5,000 BC. Yes, that's the answer and let's move on. All right, Africa is on you, brother. All right, uh, how y'all brothers doing? I, I'm Good, gonna make brother. my my question simple and quick. Okay, if so, if the original Egyptians did not start with the Nubians or black people, from their perspective and from the ancient civilizations of North Africa, where did they migrate from, and which direction was it to them? Is my question it's to both of them. Which directions did they migrate from and which ethnic groups are in that direction? Chief, who you asking that question to? Uh, I'm asking the both of them. Well, I already know what Say Cool is going to say, but I want right. to know. Which uh, one do y'all want to go first? Chief, has go first. <clears throat> See, 
I only wanted to get clarity. I, I, if anybody wanted to get clarity, I said, go ahead, let me hear it. I'm not trying to shut you down. Okay, the guy before him, two guys ago, brought up an article that Ankh read and said that they came out of the Green Sahara to populate the Nile Valley. I don't know if you guys are just dyslexic about geography. If they're going to the Nile from the that from what dried up the Green Sahara, that means they're on the east side. If the Sahara's green right here and it's drying up, there's people on the west side. There's people on the north side. There's people on the south side and it dries up and people go their ways. I answered his question four times and you forced him to ask me that same question three and four times and just bullied me with this one question. I answered this three times in a row with the same answer. It is north, east, south, and west around that green Sahara. It was green everywhere. North, it was green south, it was green. I answered that. This is simple common sense. All right, we got another question now, brother. The brother asked you a new question. We don't want to go back on that question. Okay, so what's your question, young bro? Uh, I just wanted to know uh, if you think that the the, uh, the Egyptians, or however you want to say it, uh, Kemet, if you think that they didn't start with uh, from the south, which direction do you think that those populations migrated from in the beginning of those civilizations in North Africa, as you say? especially okay. Egypt and so on. Where did they migrate from and the, the beginning populations? And who you. do they say that they migrate is what my question is. I got you. <clears throat> Throughout this lecture, I'm not sure if you was here the whole lecture, but I showed the DNA of Queen T, King Tut, Mal uh, 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 Hapshutput, and I told you their biological origins came from West Asia. You have the Mediterranean Sea. You have the Delta. And people traveling all up and down North Africa and moving around. I got a whole video presentation on it. I call it they came from the north. They go down the Nile River and populate the area. Up and down for thousands of years. Then it gets populated and here comes Narmer. It's populated enough where you can begin a nation state. So Narmer from Venice, not Sudan, he's in the middle of central Egypt, was Narmer. People say he came from the south. They're lying and trying to make you think that Narmer came from Sudan and Nubia. That's been the trick. It's been a lie. He came from Venice. Anyone can look this up, which is in central Egypt. And he, he united the two lands, upper and lower Egypt. They're the same family who was in Lower Egypt, was in Upper Egypt. And these people have been coming in and out this transcontinental country from West Asia to North Africa, from West Asia to North Africa for 30 years, and I showed that. And they eventually populated the Nile. Nubians couldn't do that because there were cataracts that wouldn't allow them to sail up the Nile. Egyptians, are, uh, Egyptians and Mediterranean people are able to go up and down the Nile to the first cataract uninterrupted. Nubians can't do that. All right. All right. Okay. So Stay they cool. came from the north, populated, and then from the central uh, Egypt, he united the two lands. They never came from down below Egypt or, or Nubia. All right. Say cool. Yeah. So how you know when somebody is lying? is that you wash their mouth. They keep talking and they never give you sources. And here's it's okay. When you talk, you give evidence of what you're talking about. I got sources. Who, you want them? Who, where? No, I didn't talk when you were oh, talking. okay. Who populated the land and how did they migrate? You were asking about the migration into the area. Now, there has been a debate on this. That was what the debate a day of attended. It was who were the prehistoric people? How was ancient Egypt populated? The version of the European was that they came from the Levant and populated. That was the consensus in Europe 
before the 1974 debate. The African school of thought said that they were indigenous to the Nile Valley and they came out of the south. And then they from Sudan area, from Congo, they came from the Sahara when it was drying up and different group merged together and then they built that civilization. Now they came on the table to present the evidence. Diops and other presenter, the flora and fauna of ancient Egyptian writing, the animals, the plants that were used to even the write the hieroglyphics, all are African plants and from inner Africa and the animal were inner African animals. None came from the Levant. Two, everything the Egyptian did, their culture, there is nothing you can show that came from the Levant that there was this system of culture in Levant that preceded and that it came in into Egypt. What we find is that the entire cultural system of Egyptian is found in the Nile Valley continuum into within the African continent. So the conclusion of UNESCO was that all scholars now agree that ancient Egyptians were indigenous to the continent from south populating towards north and not vice versa. Anybody saying any other thing is just crazy. That's all. You keep there on having no feedback, Chief X. That's why I'm putting it on. There you go. There is no there, there is no Egyptologist that will defend what he said. He can quote one Egyptologist. I am telling you now, this is the consensus of UNESCO. There's a BBC documentary on it right now, General History of Africa, and it has been established. They migrated from south, and then they came and built the Egyptian civilization. DNA issue. All right. Yeah. All right, let's move on now. Um, Marlo, Marlo, you on the queue. You All right. Seen, I, all right. What's up, thank brother? you. Um, I had a question for, for both gentlemen. Um, I, I would like to know what your response would be to the argument that um, the Egyptians that have more Japhetic features, like Caucasian features as far as their skin tone and bone structure, uh, that they have them due to the Macedonian and Ptolemaic conquest of Egypt around 300 BC. Um, because by my estimation, and I'm probably a novice on this whole topic, but if those empires were Greek and Greece is in modern day Turkey, that would give your Asian argument as far as the genetic features that might have um, Asiatic, more white uh, features or whatnot. What would your response to something like that be? Because I've heard that before. Now I go first this time. Yes, go ahead. So, brother, I want to get your question. Are you saying that the mummies or some of the ikono, the iconography of the world that we are looking at, some of them that have featured resemblance of Europeans or Asian, are you asking how that came about, or you are saying that then shows that they might have been mixed with Europeans? I want to get that clear. No, my my, my disposition is more so like if I go on to Google and type in ancient Egypt. I'm going to see a lot of people that look Greek to me. And to me, it seems that one of the reasons why that might be is because of those conquests. And then you start to go into the arguments of revisionist history and whatnot. And so I'm trying to understand what the argument to that in particular would be, because we do have okay. evidence of a Macedonian and Greco type of conquest of Egypt, yeah. where the people prior to that conquest look look more like people like you for instance yeah. so from the african school of thought what what the scholars have looked at is egypt history have uh, been divided into three you have the old kingdom you have the middle kingdom and the late kingdom the new kingdom okay when you look at the old kingdom those were the people who established the civilization itself and built most of the pyramids and did most of the job now we don't have a lot of mummies from that from that period a lot of it you don't have even more from the kings because you don't have you know, jose you don't have uh, uh, people like nama you don't have all of those but we have images that represent them with strong african features now when you come to the middle kingdom an invasion has happened from the hicksogs now you see now an asiatic group have taken over egypt not just for 50 years or 20 years for for century and rule over them and control them, marry their women, and have children with them. And you know, when people invade, they like to sleep with the, the prestigious people, the royal family, people who are high in position. They're not going to be sleeping with the poor people. They want to now have the women who are high class. That's natural, it's logic. So now the Hyksos are driven out, the Asiatic are driven out. Now we're seeing Egypt now 
the features are beginning to change. These are still Africans, but now we are seeing the Obama type. We are seeing the Kamala Harris type now. Still black, but we're seeing the features changing. Now you go into the new kingdom, at that point, you begin to see. So what they do with the Google, they now give you All right, people let's land, from the let's land, people, brother. people from the beginning or the end of the kingdom. They begin to push that on the screen and say that is the ancient Egyptian. But if you don't know how these images are arranged, one example I will give you is the bust of Queen T that you have in Germany. It's All fake. Right. All right. Everybody Let's knows that you. except people like Chief X. Go, yeah, that's my answer. All right, Chief, you want to respond? Yeah, I'd like to hear Chief X response, please. Yes. Now, um, let me respond to that. So, like, people keep saying people from the south of Nubians went up there and built Egypt. People are just blatantly saying wild things. Everyone and their mama knows that the Nubians was influenced by who? The Egyptians. Nubians didn't even have a written language until 2,000 years after the Egyptians. Marauded. This is a fact. Everybody knows this. Nubia didn't even have a pyramids until 2,000 years after the Egyptian pyramids. They didn't come from the south and built a damn thing. The north taught them how to build. They influenced them how to write. Hieroglyphics have been around since damn near prehistory. And they and the Nubians was influenced by their hieroglyphs. Not the other way around. So no Nubians built nothing. The they was in, Nubians were influenced by the Egyptians. Don't lie to people like that. It's okay. Now to answer your question, um, brother, what you're saying is another these other Mediterranean peoples, populations coming into Egypt, all the scholars and sources, experts say that no matter what, the Greeks, the Romans, and the Arabs, when they came in, they didn't affect the population genetics that much, okay? So when the Arabs came in, only 600 Arabs army came in of 600. They didn't affect the population of a million. Okay, so today, this is why some Italian, I did, I did a thing, an Italian woman and she had a hijab on her Muslim outfit. People couldn't tell if this Italian, what this woman was. Everybody was guessing she's Morocco. She's Egyptian. I said, nope, she's Italian. Because the Mediterranean people in the region have similar features and look alike. So he, what Seiko was trying to tell you is that the Egyptians was black. And then the Romans and other groups came, and then they lightened them up. Stop that. I already showed you that they weren't black. So right. the way you're answering it backwards, okay? So no, the, none of them people affected the population of Egypt genetically that much at all. Okay. Um, let's get Ngozi in here. Ngozi. Hey, what's going on, man? All right. What's up, brother? Yeah, Did you see the um debate? I, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get a chance to watch it. I know it's a continuation from what happened yeah, yesterday. Yeah, this is the Q and A right here. Do you have any questions for either one of the brothers? I uh, no, I don't have questions. I just wanted to add on, but no, I don't have yeah, any questions. Nah, this is this the um question part for them. Okay. Um, yeah. I really, don't, I really don't have a question. I, I just um, no, I don't have a question. I just think that that portion of Africa to add on, I think both of them got a point. To deny a, 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 what they label as a population with certain phenotypes that's equal to certain population south, to say that they wasn't there for anyone is problematic. And to deny the back migration that occurred is also problematic. But what we do know is that the people in that region were African, regardless of what they look like. That's just a fact. All right. All right. All right, brother. I got to move forward. Because right. you're going to close this thing down. Make your answers short. Both of y'all. Make it short. Let me move on over to, um, to Jay. Come on, brother. It's on you. Yes, you got the floor, Hello? brother. What's up? This is knowledge. That's yes, how you go. say that name. Hey, um, okay. I got a question for um, Chief X. But before I ask the question, I, I want to get clarity on something. Are you saying that the people who built the pyramids are Caucasoids? Because that's the term you use. You didn't say European. You use the term Caucasoids. So are you saying that? Yeah. So, but let me clarify. When I say Caucasoid, 
people who are not familiar with physical anthropology, their mind goes to white people. I'm not talking about white people. Caucasoids would be Berbers, Arabs, and, 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 and Near Eastern people, people from the Levant. They're considered Caucasoid or Caucasian. That's all I'm saying. Can, can you show that? That yeah, I mean, people I mean, were called, in yeah. history, that they yeah, so, was called Caucasoids. No, no, Arabs, they don't, they, no, they're not. Berbers. They don't, no, no, they're not calling. They're not like addressing a Berber. Hey, Caucasoid. Not like that. <laughs> so, so, I'm just saying, so it's no, just no, no. your opinion then. No, 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 no. You got to understand. This is what I'm saying. These are modern times. And in modern times, we develop classifications for people and animals. But that's so, a and, classification. No, 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 no. Listen, no, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I, that's what I'm saying. In modern times, not in ancient times, they didn't use those words. In modern times, and we speak in English, we classify things. We classify humans and we classify the animal kingdom. Okay? Like we're great apes. That's our classification. Okay? So in, in physical anthropology, they classify mm -hmm. humans like mongoloid, negroid, caucasoid. So they're not negroid. They're not mongoloid. They would be considered caucasoid. That's what I'm saying. Okay. okay, now here's my question. Thank you for clearing that up for me. Here's my question. If we know, and we know this through scientific fact, life started in Africa in the southern part, right? Along the Nile Valley. The southern part of the Nile Valley. That's not a fact. Where did life start? <laughs> the story is... Humanity bore, bore out of Africa. Okay, what part? You can't be specific because we have archaic humans. And when we, we, we evolve to become homo sapiens. So there were archaic humans all over Africa. This is why I'm saying you can't put only in one specific spot. They were all over Africa. They were archaic humans. And over time, we evolved to become Homo sapiens. I don't know if you believe in evolution. Yeah, I believe in evolution. Okay, but so yeah, over time. Let me get my question out. Let me get I my did, question I'm, out. I, I did. No, no, no. You was trying to clarify, and I let yeah. you do that. What I'm saying is, you're saying that Caucasoids built the pyramids, or there was no black people in north africa but if that, life started in africa it was no people there they had to come from somewhere so if life started in africa more so the primordial area of africa then those people are black people who moved up to that area you can make that assumption if you want you feel free that's just a fact. Okay. That's a if you think it's a fact. So, you brother, what's fact. your question? Last and final question. Go ahead. He already answered. He already answered. Go ahead, Sekou. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. It, Peace, oh, Aneta. Peace, brother. Yeah, it's like beating a dead horse. Your question is in place. You know, Afri the, the origin of you, if we can find archaic humans all over Africa, then we can know where the oldest archaic human came from. Because we've been able to do that, so we can know where they came from. So the area between Kenya, Uganda, uh, Ethiopia, in that area, that, that's the beginning of the Nile. So when you say at the beginning of the Nile, you are right. That's the origin of humanity. People thinking we are here joking. So the people came from there and they migrated up and populated the earth. That's the fact. Exactly. You don't have to like it. You don't have to be happy. But that's the fact. And the ancient Egyptians... We are black Africans. We are not saying it. It is the European who said we are saying that to be happy because we have no civilization in Africa. So when a black person repeating it, they are not doing research. They are only regurgitating what Petri said. It's not that they are being intelligent or intellectual. They are just repeating what Europeans are saying. They said we don't have civilization. That's why we want to claim Egypt. Then he repeats it. They said that there were black Caucasian. The use of the word Caucasian and black Caucasian is to make the European the, 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 the standard for describing human beings. So that anybody who has a long nose, he is not a Caucasoid. Who gave the European the right to be the model to describe a human being? Why don't we call him a Tutsi-like? A Tutsi 
because Tutsi have long nose. I don't want to bring my woman up here. She's Tutsi. She have a phenotype of a Caucasian. You will call Caucasian. She right here with me. And I have what you will call Bantu. We are all African. So she all right. will be called Caucasian. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to make right. my Let's question. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, we got Zab, Zab in the yeah. building. Zab is on you. Yeah, I'm going to make my question short and simple. Why did the ancient Egyptians depict and color their pharaohs and their people black or dark brown, as well as the sculptures. Why did they depict those sculptures Negroid in um, description? Good question, good question. Say, um, uh, Chief. Should I go? Yeah. <clears throat> Chief could go. No, let him go, he wants to go. I think he was asking you that question, Chief. Who are you yeah, asking? Who, whoever wanna answer, it don't matter. Okay, go ahead, say cool. Okay. Uh, can I can I explain it by sharing the screen? No, we ain't got that much time. We got to get out of here. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, the the question of color. Let me start with the color, the dark brown and the jet black. The Egyptians are said to usually represent themselves in the dark brown, or some people call it red color, and some they say the the Nubians are presented uh, in the uh, what they call uh, the jet black color. We see that in many paintings, but what some people don't tell you is that there are several also paintings where we see the Nubian painter in the same dark red. In the tomb of Hoy, H-U-Y, tomb of Hoy, put it on, you will see the ancient Egyptian and the Nubian depicted in the same color. What we have to understand, there is a debate whether the color was a representation of, or, of, or was a realism, or it was a nationalism issue that had to do with the color. That, I don't know the scholar can answer, but there are many paintings where the ancient Egyptian also painted the Nubian in dark red. Even the 25th dynasty, pharaohs, you go, you, you see they are, even their tomb in El Kuru in Nubia, they are painted dark red, the same color as the Egyptians. Are we then going to say what? That why are they painted dark red if it would the color were exclusively for Egyptian? Okay, I All have right. I have um, the proper let's answer. Go to Reggie. No, I didn't I didn't answer the question. Oh, oh get, get, get I have I have I have, I have I have the proper answer. Okay, because <laughs> this is not his lane. Okay. Reggie agrees with this because Reggie actually taught this two weeks ago. The Egyptians painted in red okra. It was one of their colors. They only had maybe four. Maybe only four colors or whatever. So five. They painted their men in red okra. If a, you see a pitch black Egyptian, the pitch black, because he asked what does that mean, pitch black represents death or re rebirth or regeneration. So you have Nefertari pitch black, but you'll have her other, like seven, ten other pictures where, where she's pale. But the pitch black is representing death or regeneration. It has nothing to do with her skin color. Reggie will agree with this. He's taught this. Now, red okra, they paint the men, and they paint Egyptian women in yellow. Nubians are always black or brown, never yellow, because they're not at that. Egyptians are. Egyptian women are painted white or pale, and the men are painted with red okra. And they're painted white or pale. Some people say because they're in the house. That's just their color. But Nubians, all the time, black and brown. Never The, the Nubian women are never painted white or yellow. That's what it is. Because Egypt wasn't a black land. All right, all right. We're going to move on, Reggie. It's on you, brother. Let's try to keep it quick. We, we got five minutes for Chris to get on tonight. You are muted. Hi, I'm going to be real quick. Uh, can I share my screen? Oh, Lord. No, no, just ask a question. No, I, no, no he has to show something. No, no, I just told the brother that, that even did the selection. He can't share the screen. I'm Brother Reggie. I know Reggie. I got to kind of run, too, time. so let's just kind of wrap it up. I'm sorry, so, brother. We didn't get time. All right, so listen, you don't have time for scholarship. No, that's we not don't have time for a presentation. Do you, 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 you agree or disagree? 
We just need a question from you. That's we just it. need a question. It's going to be yes or no question. Nobody has to do with a color and this demand demonstration. Mm -hmm. that's I mean, right, I mean, right. unless he wants to, unless quiet. he wants to speak on the color quiet. thing. Everybody be quiet. You can't share the screen right now because okay, I even so told no Sekou problem. and no, he's no, a debater. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. It's not personal, brother. No, it's 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 it's, it's but it's not scholarships if I can't. Share. Never mind. Size your show. Yo, do you, Reggie? Reggie, I got another show at eight o'clock, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But I got to, to get out of here. Seconds. Reggie, God damn. Okay, no problem. Relax. Rose, I'm out. All right, all right, Chris Harris. We won't be able to share no screen. Cause um, yeah, I couldn't even let Sekou share a screen, so it wouldn't okay. be fair. Okay, um, it's it's real simple. Um, real quick. Hey, um, Chief X, the website that you went to, which was a Wikipedia art article, which showed Queen T being a Haplo group K. That's what you showed. But when you go up to the earliest dynastic period mummies that it showed, it said in the same article that all those mummies that dated back to 15,000 years ago, which was the pre-dynastic period, were of B1B1A, which would be a so-called sub-Saharan Negro haplogroup. So your own source killed you on that. And I wanted Sarnetta just to sit up there and do my screen share real quick so I can show everybody the source that you use, which debunks your entire narrative that you've placed forth today. So shout out to Seku. You did a remarkable job tonight in keeping your composure here tonight. You got a question, bro? Excuse me. No. I just wanted to say shout out. Thank you, Sarnetta. Shout out to Seku for doing a remarkable job tonight. You, have, you, you came up in here lying, first of all. Chris, we're getting ready to go live. We're, we're, not, we're not here to debate. All right, You're here on, to ask a question. On, he said man. I'm oh, man. Chris, we getting ready to go live. You could probably show it in, on your opening before it you takes go. Two seconds. He said I was lying. I can all show right, him. Hold on, Chris. You can you can show it in your opening. We getting ready to go live in about three minutes. Got so you. brother say cool and brother um Chief X, I would like for y'all to close out. Y'all got two minutes apiece. I started, he can close out first. He started, um, you can close out. It is okay, seven fifty-nine. Let's go, say cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, this debate is not even a debate, it's a it's just a joke, and I just came here to explain what everybody already knows. But we are dealing with an issue in the community, and I want everybody to know tonight in this closing statement, it's called the Negropian syndrome. The Negropian syndrome is a syndrome where a black man is angry with himself and his community to a point. He wants to destroy anything his fellow black want to build because he thinks his anger should be directed as the weaker enemy instead of fighting his own battle, which is the white man who has put him in change. He White man ain't my Bible enemy. It's now the weak you can't black. talk on this call, oh my God. God. Chief. He thinks that the black man is his enemy, so he dedicated his time trying to bring down whatever black man built. Ancient Egyptians are black Africans, just as Greeks are white Europeans. And every African, you have the right to claim any part of Africa, including ancient Egypt. There are indigenous black people in North Africa today. It doesn't matter they are either Eastern or Southern or wherever, they are there and they represent themselves, they have their organization. Chief X is chasing, is chasing just breeze, and he's chasing shadows, and he's doing nothing really serious. So I thank you, and I close out. All right, Chief X, you got two minutes. Okay, so I have no enemies, I'm a free man. My enemies is individual. I don't have no group that's my enemy. I judge men on an individual basis, how a person treats me. You might be my goddamn enemy, okay? Let's not play. So, let me close on out. So, we see the title. The title of this video says, Are There Any Indigenous Black People in North Africa? So, my claim was, there's no indigenous black folk in the Levant. They're not indigenous to Levant. Near East. Caucasus. Europe, uh, I said Levant, or North Africa. All day today, nobody named a black tribe or nation that was from Europe, Levant, Caucasus, Near East, or any of those places today. 
You did not hear the name of a black. You're done, bro. You did not hear the name of any black tribe out of any of them areas. And the, everybody knows this is the truth. You can lie to yourself and be mad that all you, what you believe got exposed. Oh, well. You did not hear a name of any tribe out of any of them, black tribe out of any of them areas. Only two names you heard tonight was the Beja and the Taboo. And they're on the borders, and neither one of them are North Africans. The Taboo are Saharan Africans who live mainly in Chad. The Beja are Horn Africans. From the, you're done, bro. Are Horn Africans. So he didn't name not one black tribe or nation indigenous to North Africa or any of them places. This was a child abuse and he got spanked. And nobody can name one. This case is closed. I show the Egyptians were never black. The entire conscious community has been wrong for 40 years. Period. And they've been following a cult leader because they don't want to be what? Akan, Fulani, Hausa, Igbu, Mande, Wolof, and Ruff. And they don't want to represent that West. West side. This is a Sante gang. I banged on this cat. He's out here bleeding and leaking blood right now. You know, he. <laughs> And I shut it down. Nobody can deal with my claims. Period. And he couldn't do it, and you've seen it. The chat gonna front. Oh, he bought it, Chief X. But you know darn well he ain't named one black tribe out of any of them five areas. You know that. So you can lie to yourself. You can play the game in the chat. Oh, he bought it, Chief. Chief don't know what he's talking about. You can do all these mind games, but all the right. real Time ones know. Up. Chief, thank you. Appreciate you. Stay cool. Powerful discussion from both of the brothers. Y'all can learn something. Whatever you do, Chief, don't don't run out talking about I was biased, brother. I did the best that I could do. I was fair with good. both we of good. you, brothers. We good. All right. Thank you, brother. All right. I, and um, peace and black power. I, 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 I gave you a donation. I gave you a donation. He did. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. That's true. Say, cool. I'll see you later on with the donation. I, I want, want everybody, everybody when we click out of here, click off and just go and click right back on Sarnetta. We got Chris Harris in the building right now. Peace and Black Power. We already set up and everything. We out.